release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation. Shekinah is here. I release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation. Shekinah is here. I'm prophesying to the atmosphere. I release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation. Shekinah is here. I cry holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua. Shekinah is here. I sing holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua. Shekinah is here. I release. The sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Shekinah is here. Yahweh, Yahweh. Prophesy to every mountain that stands before you. This is under the corporate anointing. Who are thou mounting before Zerubbabel? I come by the unction of worship and I declare that that mountain you must be made plain. Come on, lift your voice, house of David. Prophesy. Prophesy. I prophesied as I was commanded. I prophesied as I was commanded. And there was a sound. Don't be silent. Don't be tired. You are commanding victories in the spirit. We decree it in the 
the name of Jesus. Here are these worship and miracles. We command by the Spirit. Mountains of finances. We command by the Spirit. Mountains of sickness. For when God shows up, everything that is not Him must give way. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen, let me tell you. Many of you are shifting things in the spirit. That is God for you. Forever. Oh Lord. Thy word is settled. It's not a special number. Listen to what you are saying. Forever. Oh Lord. Your word concerning my victories. Your word concerning my lifting. Not the recession will stop it. Not the hatred of men can stop it. So I believe, yes, Lord, I believe, yes, Lord, I believe that you're the Son of God. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe, yes, Jesus, that you can change our lives. That you can change and shift our destinies. That you can bring new anointings in our ministries. Yes, Lord, we believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. You're the Son of God. Yesterday, the Lord did mighty things in Abelkota, and one of it that touched me so much, not many of you were there, but whilst i was ministering by the spirit the lord brought forth a few women and two of them very strangely one of the women had been barren for 23 years 23 years another friend that she invited from lagos here am i right pastor 27 years a combination of 50 years two women now if all you pray for them for is to have a child you still cheated them 27 years no the bible says if a thief be caught you don't return what you stole because while you stole it someone suffered something so you return plus the interest that matches the time wasted are we together we're about to pray i we will soon round up please be patient with me there are things that the devil has taken some of us years has been eating from our lives you are not where you should be now I, i'm not trying to condemn you but it's not a lie are we together now you went to school at 25 you graduated at 33 you got a job at 41 when will you retire but there is a system in the kingdom hi that overnight the rod of a priest boarded it is not normal for trees to go no 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 the sequence is that it starts coming out gradually and will take two or three years but in the presence of god a rod not connected to a root all of a sudden boarded how many of you believe here that god in one month can compress something that that would have been we are going to sing this song again and while you sing it i like you to see strange liftings that you stand here to testify and your testimony is this they say talk now you say I, i'm trying to i'm trying to look what god did in my family in one month listen there are people who should not have one child alone 
the time they've, they've spent is too long you should have at least twins or triplets there are people who should not just have a job a job of hundred thousand after 20 years of waiting that's not a testimony that god will shift you in a way and manner there are people here you are supposed to have been in ministry since the last 10 years you should have been in dimensions but something happened and the devil stole years i like you to pray and say father every year it must be recovered i'm leaving nothing to satan it is within your power come on house of david we're rounding up Lord, let there be a restoration of the years the canker worm ate, the years the palmer worm ate. There must be a restoration of every fortune, a restoration of every lifting, a restoration by the Spirit of the living God. hallelujah hallelujah listen the lord just spoke to my spirit that we should sing a song i'm not yoruba but the song is in yoruba and i just want you to keep quiet the lord said as the, whoever is going to be singing it an anointing through this song is going to be bringing this recovery i don't know the song go oh, i'm just someone who just had god go ahead my dear that's what the lord told me and as we begin to sing this song he's stepping into people's situation i want you as you are as you are singing this song see jesus stepping in into your family jesus the son of the living god walking into your life finally walking into your disappointments Please help those under the anointing. Jesus is stepping in in this auditorium. Lord Jesus, now I'm going to begin to pray. Jesus, Jesus is walking into this auditorium right now. Walking into this auditorium. Jesus is walking into this auditorium. The Lord is replacing all kinds of things, body parts, the healing power of Jesus, touching people. There are restorations coming now. Restorations, please help them. Just help them. We can't bring them out because of time. But the anointing of the Spirit is touching you right where you are. Right where you are. It's over. It's over. The Spirit of God is saying it's over. You will not cry forever. It's over. 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 Everything that happens on earth that is negative, please hear me. There was someone in fraternity with the realm of the spirit who spoke it to happen. Even the coming of Jesus, it took Anna the prophetess to pray the word to come on earth. He didn't just appear. When she saw him, she said, now my soul can find rest. What I kept decreeing, speaking in the realm of the spirit, has come. Oh, my help has come. Oh, 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 my help has come. Oh, 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 my lifting has come. Ah. Oh, oh, oh,
We're going to pray in the spirit. Please be serious. Take the time to pray, generate energy in the spirit. We are praying under a corporate anointing. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. Shake he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Are you praying? Pray in the spirit. And the Catapacata, Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Prayer point number one, Psalm 3. Psalm 3, please help us, media. Psalm 3 and verse 1. Lord, how they are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Verse 2. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for you in God. Verse 3. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that nothing keeps my head down. In this season, I am lifted supernaturally. Lift your voice and begin to pray. But thou, O Lord, as a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Acts chapter 12, please give it to us quickly, Acts chapter 12, from verse 4, the Bible says that Peter was kept in prison, and the Bible says they kept him in prison, intending that after Easter, they would bring him out so that the people would kill him, verse 5. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. What happened? And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keepers before the door. 
that kept the prison verse 7 the bible says and behold the angel of the lord came upon him and light shined in the prison and they smote peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and the chains fell off from his hand verse 8 and the angel said unto him guard thyself and bind up thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment before thee and follow me verse 9 the bible says and he went out and followed him and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel but he saw as though he was in a vision 10. Hmm. and when they were past the second the first gate there were three gates the first gate brought him out of the prison the second gate was midway and the bible says they came onto the iron gate that leaded to the city listen to me this is the gate that stops visibility there is a gate that stops the visibility of man it says the gate leads to the city your business can be there but there is an iron gate listen and the bible says that the gate opened on its own accord when that gate opens the next thing you see is the city is the gate that controls influence are you ready to pray in the name of jesus every gate standing my way of influence and visibility i declare be broken right now lift your voice and pray he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder he has broken the gates of power and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me. We are going to pray against delay. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten of them will see him. They all had oil, but because the bridegroom delayed, the oil of others finished and they missed out. You are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my destiny. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and pray. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my business. Speed to my career. Someone is praying. Pray, pray, outside, pray, online, pray, make the grace in the name of Jesus. 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 We are still praying over speed. Look at me. Listen. The unit of destiny is time. God can bring you help speedily. Are we together now? Yes. We are going to pray. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jisrael we are going to pray lord bring speed to my life bring speed to my life lift your voice and begin to prophesy speed 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 someone prophesy someone declare speed to 
my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 125, verse 3. Psalm 125, verse 3, please. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Why? Lest the righteous put their hands in iniquity. The rod of the wicked. You are going to command every finger of darkness and evil over your life, your family, your children. You are going to command it to give way. Are you ready? Lift your voice and pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous. Hallelujah. 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 Job chapter 5, please. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. We are praying. Please take this prayer serious. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. Are you ready to read? Want to read with me? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. Number one. Next verse, please. In famine. He shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Next verse. Thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Why? Listen. It says, for thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field. That means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me. You use sand, you, I, I have a covenant with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because I was given dominion over them. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, no enchantment, no divination against my life and my destiny shall try. Lift your voice and pray. I am in covenant. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the skull. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the skull. I am in covenant with the Hallelujah. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, 
by all means lift your voice and say lord by all means give me peace 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 by all means, give me peace. Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving. But in the realm of the spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. Next verse. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn in Zion. Verse 3. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Verse 4, I receive it for myself. It says, and they shall build the old waste, they shall raise up the former desolations, and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations. Verse 5, and strangers... This is where we are getting to. You don't need to know who will help you. Strangers. And strangers shall stand and feel. Listen, listen, listen. Strangers shall stand and feed your flock. It says, and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen. This was what happened to a man called Mephibosheth. The Bible says, and David said, is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And they called a man called Ziba who had 15 sons. The Bible says he sent him to Lodeba. He said, there is a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Go and fetch the man, the king said. When he came, he said, although you are crippled, even Mephibosheth said, am I a dog that the king will be sending for me? He said the children of Ziba would plow the land for him. He said, but as for you, Mephibosheth, you will eat with me at my table here forever. Keep that scripture there. Listen, this scripture is a deliverance scripture. Stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know. It's none of your business how God will bring you the breakthrough. Stop troubling your uncle, your auntie. Every time you are saying, God, visit me, your mind is going to a particular person. That real estate man. Leave God to decide who, like a movie director. Let him decide who will come with the blessing. Are you ready to pray? Make decrees in this season. Strangers are feeding my flock. Strangers are feeding my flock. The sons of Elias are coming to bless me. Help prepare blessings rising from everywhere. Hallelujah. Everywhere 
the helpers of your destiny are men instructed by god to hold your hand and lift you i don't care where they are across this nation and around the globe i stand by the voice of prophecy and i command them to show up in your life 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 listen to me every strange pattern an occurrence in any family circles of negative things that keep repeating themselves i stand by the god of heaven and i come by the rod of a higher priesthood i break those patterns now and jabez was more honorable than his brethren the bible says the mom bore him in sorrow and named him jabez and for a while things will not go well in his life and one day he said oh that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast is someone ready to pray listen god is a god of increase is it is the will of god that you keep moving from glory to glory not that you become stunted in one position i pray for you in the name of jesus expand expand to the left expand to the right i'm praying for you by the power of the holy ghost expand to the east expand to the north expand to the south expand to the west expand overseas in the name of jesus christ let's decree favor ah. in the name of jesus christ the kind of favor you have not seen in your life i stand by the god of heaven if you can believe it i declare return with a fearful testimony of favor i speak it from the depth of my spirit return with a fearful testimony of favor we shift systems we shift structures and i command favor i declare favor i command favor i declare favor can i pray for your spiritual life everything that has killed your hunger and your passion for the things of god you used to pray in the night but now you sleep all till the day there is a spirit of slumber that wants to eat up your destiny because a new season is about to open for you so the devil does not want you to stay in the place of prayer receive an impartation of the grace the spirit of prayer and supplication in the name of jesus christ listen to me hear me we are wrapping up i'm speaking to you prophetically there are many of you seasons are about to open in your life but listen listen the devil wants to use offense to kill those seasons beware one of the traps of satan when seasons are about to open is that he uses offense everything offends you your husband your wife your children your boss make up your mind that your joy will remain because it is with joy you draw out of the wells of salvation i declare joy unspeakable joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory hallelujah let me pray for those in business i believe in the power of the holy ghost and i believe in miracles i don't care how it has been before now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god what has refused to walk in your hands go back right now and watch one that's happened go back right now and watch one that's happened go back and watch one that's happened in the name of jesus christ
and whatsoever he doeth prospers whatsoever he doeth prospers there is something called honor see you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself it takes another person to confer honor upon you honor is a grace that is transferable he said thou shalt find joshua in whom the spirit is upon and he says that thou shalt lay your hands upon him and then he says you shall take some of your honor and you shall give to him honor is transferable the cure for shame and the cure for reproach in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare may this mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes you even among your contemporaries may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now there are people who came here with bills came here with things that are pressing your neck Though I walk through the valley low, I feel no evil. By the water still my soul, my heart will trust. Take your eyes away from the challenges. My eyes will trust. Oh, I walk through the path I feel no ah. My heart will drop Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now the Lord is that spirit. I'm ready to pray just a few minutes. I saw the hands of people tied with chains. No matter what you do, it doesn't seem to work. It works for others, but when it gets to your turn, there will always be one story or the other. Fire is about to fall. Shanabakata. I stretch my hands. Bring them out everyone under the influence of this ministration if there is any power holding your hands and your productivity in the name of jesus christ i declare may that yoke be broken now chains be broken now chains be broken now chains be broken now I'm seeing fire rest on people bring them chains be broken it's impossible to be here and not have results this is koinonia i declare chains be broken atmosphere sheep now chains be broken One more time. Atmosphere. Prophesy. I'm seeing the vision of an employment letter. In two weeks, three people from one family in two weeks this is what the lord is revealing three people from one family i stand by the god of heaven and i declare this as a prophetic word let it be you will marvel and wonder at the supernatural power of the holy ghost i declare it as a prophetic word in the name of jesus christ the lord is showing me people who have been around 
projects simple things that should be finished on time some of you it has taken years you start businesses you start things that finishes grace is not there i want to pray for you in the name of jesus everything you have started and the devil will not want you to finish it i stand by the god of heaven whether it's a building project whether it's a business whether it's a spiritual adventure i release the finishers anointing upon you the finishers anointing upon you the finishers anointing the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work I prophesy that same hand will complete it in the name of Jesus Christ there are people here you've been part of the lifting of many people but they've forgotten about you there is a book in the spirit called the book of remembrance the bible says and that night could not king ahazaroth sleep and he said bring me the chronicles i'm sp i'm speaking to someone by the spirit and mordecai had saved the king but he was not rewarded i speak to you no matter how long it has been that every reward that should have come to you by reason of your participating in the success of others and you've been forgotten in the name that is above all names may the book of remembrance be open for you now <laughs> believe it believe it this is not motivation may the book of remembrance be open for you now For all of you who are out here, I declare those chains are broken forever. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never be the same. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. 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 Let this wine press be the one that will shift you into dimensions and realms that will turn you into a sign and a wonder listen there is no dimension and hear me when i tell you this it is true there is no dimension of possibilities there is no dimension of dominion that you cannot command the key is not to chase after things no everything in life was designed to be attracted to be drawn by the mysteries of the kingdom and that which I show you tonight is called priesthood. It's the mystery of dominion. The saints reign. We program the spiritual climate over us. You pick favor from the realm of the spirit. Add it to January to December. You pick speed. Add it January to December. Speak open door. Add it January to December. Program every good thing to wait till you are there before it shows up. If you are not there, then it is allowed to be delayed till you show up. Priesthood, who are thou mounting before Zerubbabel that stands before you my brothers and my sisters i don't mean to insult your intelligence but what is in a job that god cannot give you listen listen i, I don't mean to be sarcastic it is true every 
every day there are people looking for people to bless in this city what is stopping them from reaching you it is not distance i guarantee you it is not distance and it is not familiarity because gentiles will come to your light not your familiar friends no when those who know you bless you it's difficult to say it's god but when strangers feed your flock then you know that it's a dimension of grace where you wake up in the morning and you collide with all kinds of breakthroughs by evening you return back home and say my god have i not been in lagos and people say ah your season has come you say you are right but it's not time that brought it priesthood open me to another vista of spiritual possibility it's true we are going to pray and I, I want find a way of believing what i share with you tonight whatever he does prospers it doesn't just prosper because he wants it to prosper it is what is on your head that is controlling what is around your life priesthood that you can pray your way up to date down tomorrow spiritually lord i fold that season like a curtain out of my life priesthood the power of legislature what kind of dream is this that i always have every time i'm supposed to be lifted i see myself in secondary school i see myself in my former house no i don't know what it means but i know this is evil because the bible says the path of the justice as a shining light and you use priesthood blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us that he nailed his cross That every good thing starts in my life but doesn't end but the bible says he has turned my morning into dancing not dancing into morning he has turned my sorrow into joy and so you you step back and and take away your priest your your regalia and put that regalia of priesthood it's time to pray it's time to rearrange possibilities it's time to manipulate realities to send angels to send the ministry of the holy spirit to homes to systems to structures compelling them to bow to the lordship of the christ hallelujah please listen i know there may be many pastors following online and so on and so forth why is my church not growing why is growth epileptic i have a message i'm a man of character and integrity i love the lord with all my heart what is this thing that is making people not grow no people do not just come they are compelled to come there is a grace that compels people it's called anakazo is the, it's the ability of the spirit he, he called for a feast and he sent to call people and they were giving excuses one said i just married i need to spend time with my wife another said i built a house i need to celebrate he said go to the street and the byways and compel them compel them listen to me listen there are dimensions you must enter but there are graces that is like that that expansion has not happened you can expand yourself like the molting of a snake come out of your old self into another dimension that sustains the power to command real results lord what is wrong with me i love god but i prophesy and every every case i mention is not true i say you are you're john they say i'm not john something is wrong i'm a prophet but it's not speaking get to the position of priesthood and pray out that shell of the flesh until there is a heavy investment of the spirit you come out from that place of priesthood and you become a blazing fire an inferno of fire Hiya, hiya, ha.
hear me? You're a man of God in ministry here. Let me give you an honest counsel. Going around and giving cards for invitation and saying, invite me, I'm a man of God. You will only mock yourself. Go back to the secret place. The place where men are made for a generation and generate the kind of energy that defies being ignored, that vetoes your background, that vetoes your limitations. Pray yourself until you intercourse with an anointing, a grace that a generation recognizes. Pray until an investment of the spirit comes upon you. You called me into the ministry of signs and wonders. Lord, my life cannot be buried. Manta salas caparata. Ebreketekete baratos. Makaparakato seketekete. Pray, HICC. Stalabarata kat shobada sila. Priesthood. 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 Encounter with power. Priesthood. Encounter with authority. The grace to change nations. The grace to shift systems. The grace to hold structures. Listen. 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 My dear brothers and sisters, hear me. It is because the challenges in our lives have not met authentic priesthood. That's why they remain. Are we together now? Yes, sir. The day you take the matters in your destiny serious, you will melt it like wax before the fire. Because the Bible says he maketh his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire. You can pray your way priesthood while men sleep you are praying Skaparush Kanata, lagos hear the word of the lord i stand as a priest i legislate from leki to vi to ikeja i call forth my helpers i call for the way makers used by god i decree and declare no more delay i program speed i declare by the power of the holy ghost i am Bula and hefziba i cannot be denied cannot be denied not on grounds of sentiments not on grounds of I stand as one who has been helped by God. Hela parus kanakatos. Fito your background. Fito your limitations. Let priesthood become your advantage. Advantage in the spirit. Advantage in destiny. That the opening of your mouth is the opening of the gates of the destinies of men. Someone open your mouth and pray. Cry to the God of heaven. Wine press. Let the maker make you. Let your priesthood speak tonight. Oh, yeah. 
Praise the Lord. We are rounding up. Please look at me. Listen to me. You are going to pray just two prayer points and we are done for the night. You are going to challenge. The Bible says, listen to me. It says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. He said, casting down every imagination is the word Yazar. The vain imaginations of men and bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ. You are going to pray. This is priesthood now. Are we together now? You are going to pray and declare that everything that is not consistent with the character of God and the speakings of prophecy, hear the word of the Lord. I come as one sent, anointed by God, and you will lift your voice and begin to make decrees. The Bible says, Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. Lift your voice and pray. Make decrees. Speak. Speak to systems. Speak to structures. Are there men of prayer here? I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lagos, hear my voice. Someone is praying. Bagada, hear my voice. Ikeja, hear my voice. Leki, hear my voice. Africa, hear my voice. I speak in the name of Jesus. Every barrier be torn down by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every climate above me, programming woes, programming delay, stopping a generation from hearing your voice, manipulating your influence across a territorial space. I come against you in the name of Jesus. Someone is praying. Someone is praying over your ministry. I challenge powers over your business. I confront spirits in the name of Jesus. By the blood of the eternal covenant, I silence speakings. I silence ordinances. I silence operations in the name of Jesus. Pray. look at me it was the service in some tree that says many are they that rise up against me it says many are they that say where is thy God but then it says but thou O Lord that you are a shield for me then it says you are my glory and he uses the next prayer point you are the lifter of my head it says, my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. Even when the head of a unicorn is down, the horn is not down. The horn remains up at all times. And I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Please listen. Listen. I want you to take this prayer session seriously. You are going to pray. Lord, the grace, the anointing, the unction for the next level of my life. The compelling ability of the spirit that must rest upon me and will resonate like an earthquake across a territory the inferno of fire that must come upon my life and turn me to a wonder i receive it now lift your voice and begin to pray the grace that will make my music ministry step into another dimension for the sake of his majesty the grace that will make my business become a wonder and praise that there was a sound of a mighty rushing wind and it came and filled the room. Praise. 
greater dimension of the healing anointing, greater dimension of the grace for wealth and abundance, greater dimension of the grace for prayer, greater dimension of the grace for giving, greater dimension of the grace for serving, greater dimension. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I decree and I declare over everyone here and all the branches and all connected online. I pray by the ministry of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, may mighty anointing come upon your life and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of prayer and supplication that will grant you the grace to travail. I declare by the hand of God, let it rest upon you now. These three women, I'm not ministering this night, but these three women, I'm seeing oil being poured on all three of them. Help them, please. New dimension. I shift you in the spirit. New dimension. New dimension. New dimension. Take that fire. New dimension. Dimension of power. Dimension of grace. I amplify your voice. I give your product wings in the spirit. I command the generation to hear your voice. I place something upon your life that defies being denied. I forbid you from being rejected. I decree and declare 2020 expand 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 I speak by the spirit expand and the choir expand move to new levels expand increase increase in knowledge increase in prosperity increase in influence increase in wisdom lift your hands everybody Everywhere your gift is needed, I command them to begin to talk about you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I activate breakthrough for you. In the name of Jesus, everywhere your gift is needed, whoever needs your gift in Nigeria, I stand as a servant of God. I command a connection in the realm of the spirit, beginning from tonight, tonight. Tonight, 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 in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for every one of your family members looking for a job. My God and my King tonight. Let testimonies rise from this message. No matter how long, tonight, let someone talk to somebody. Talk to somebody and talk to somebody and connect them for breakthrough in the name of Jesus. For your family members, I command, help us. Those who will connect them to projects and contracts and opportunities. Yes, they don't merit it, but by the power of destiny help us. I connect them to the breakthrough for the next level. In the name of Jesus. Where you have cried academically, I connect you to help us. Professors who will help you. Admin staffs who will help you. Admin staff who will help you. Members in the Senate who will help you. Whether for accommodation, whether for your result, whether for missing script, whether for your wayek, whatever it is. In the name of Jesus. As the Senate and the faculty board members meet over your results and your performance, may a strange man enter that meeting and advocate for you in the name of Jesus. Anywhere they want to turn down your family members or turn down anything, let a strange man come. We don't want to know the name. Let a strange call come. Let a strange connection come. I prophesy it. I release it to you in the name of Jesus. 
I release testimonies, testimonies, testimonies from this breakthrough experience. Beginning from tonight, I command calls from destiny helpers, calls from destiny helpers, calls from destiny helpers, connections with destiny helpers. They will travel and come and meet you. You will meet them on the street. They will come to your homes in the name of Jesus. You will see them in your dreams. God will connect you. For every one of your family members that is supposed to be married and they are not married, the husbands or the wives, they are not in space, they are here on earth. Lord, we pray tonight as a family by the power that is in the name of the resurrected Christ. I pray, let help us lead partners to their mates in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. We command supernatural marital connections in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We bind every devil. We bind every power that attempts to cause delay. We set them free from every curse and every yoke of bondage. Be released in the name of Jesus. The ministry of destiny help us all through this week I want you to pray cry out and say Lord bring them I believe you will hear fearful testimonies in this place as a result tonight I've shown you a very mighty secret don't forget it too soon hold it every time you are praying over something the answer is in the hands of another person stop beating about the bush every man and every authority can answer when God calls yours is just to pray that God will connect you praise the Lord Mercy is a weapon, and you are about to use it now. Ha! And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord, and the accuser came before him, attempting to rail accusations. And he said, Is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire? And he said, The Lord rebuke you. Listen. The mercy of God is a weapon. You can use it and say, Satan, Satan, I know you are supposed to destroy me, but what about this? I present to you the mercy of God. I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant. I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the Father, standing and speaking. I present to you the sinless blood. I present to you Calvary. Lift your voice. Invoke mercy. Invoke mercy. Repent. Take your voice. Every voice. Every voice of mercy. Take your voice. 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 Hallelujah. Hear me. Tonight you are going to use it as a weapon over the devourer. I know I've not been a tighter. You are authorized to destroy me. But see the blood. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, you should be destroyed. But the blood will speak. Hear me. You live the wayward life and all kinds of things happen and the earth cries against you but when i see the blood when i see the blood you are involved in all kinds of blood covenants 
and fraternities in ignorance but now that you are in christ when i see the blood lift up your voice and plead the blood hey. in god mess mercy come on now in god mercy Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. There are handwritings. There are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again. The devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone. There is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given. But tonight, plead the blood. It can blot it out. Come on now. It can blot it out. It can blot it out. It can blot out. It can blot out. It can blot out. Was he praying? Hear me. A cause causeless shall not stand. A cause causeless. So if the blood of Jesus takes away the legal access, the effect must leave me to open your mouth and declare every pattern you have been blood blotted you live my life patterns of barrenness patterns of failure come on now koinonia are you praying Listen, 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 listen. When you activate this, you will find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say, Oh, you once in where in the world you committed 19 abortions and blood is speaking, and that's why your life is not moving. It should not move. But now that you have invoked mercy, it makes the cause causeless. 
that means he should not come again are we together you stole money help them please and all of that you destroyed another person's destiny but but now that you are in christ what of the blood he showed me joshua the high priest please take seriously this is what i did for my own life oh let me tell you for we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom i want to pray for you but we're going to pray one more prayer point hear me and say i begin a new order a new order dissociated from the past Alienated from the witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal God. Koinonia, you pray. Alienated. Every biological disorder. Every genetic disorder. Pray. Every yoke. The man you have. The man you have. The man you have. but your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by one more time my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by i like you to pair yourselves into three find someone who is serious anybody who is not praying leave him alone pair yourselves into three 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 and you are going to for the next two or three minutes i like you to blast in tongues non-stop this month of july we are declaring war over the gates of darkness lift your voice and pray that a threefold cord cannot be easily broken Pray, Koinonia. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Shabarato koto shepekete. Enteke de katabaraka to shabaya. Lord, the gates must open. Lord, my destiny must be revived. My spiritual life must be revived. My finances, my family, arise, O God of heaven. Shabadakata, Shabadakata, Lakata Kata Kata. My ministry is time to break forth on the left, on the right. Matthew chapter 6 just to establish a few things I love to teach the word of God because it brings light it brings illumination and on the strength of that light we now can be able to do exploits as people in the kingdom Matthew chapter 6 Jesus is teaching here and verse 9 he is teaching them to pray according to Luke's account 
this discourse came as a result of a request the disciples said teach us to pray as john taught his own disciples matthew does not have that account but that's what luke says and he says after this manner therefore pray ye our father which art in heaven hallowed be your name the verse of emphasis is verse 10 thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven hallelujah the concept of the kingdom has been one that um, has not been properly understood i would say in the body of christ we have done teachings about jesus and that that is the ultimate we have done teachings about different facets of the faith life but i think that um, very few believers really understand the whole idea of the kingdom and the implication of this statement thy kingdom come so for me i was really blessed knowing that the lord put this as a theme and i'm sure that speaker after speaker you have received all kinds of dimensions of knowledge about the kingdom i'm not really dwelling there i just want to pick my emphasis is to help us to learn and really know how to enforce the kingdom i am passionate about the experience of spiritual realities that spiritual realities should not just end in theory there must be an expression to spiritual realities where we can be able to demonstrate the reality of the things that we believe here and now praise the name of the lord hallelujah and so jesus in this statement did not only reveal the reality of the fact that the father desired that his kingdom be made manifest and by now i'm sure that you know that the kingdom of god is an expression of his culture the kingdom of god is an expression of his glory the kingdom of god is an expression of every atmosphere that makes god god are we together so when we talk about the kingdom um, we refer to every sphere of influence generally speaking a kingdom is defined as every sphere of influence where the authority of a king is allowed to find expression and in the bible you would see two expressions the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of god maybe just for the purpose of this discourse i would give you the difference the kingdom of god refers to every sphere where the power the dominion of god extends to and that is everywhere the psalmist said where can i hide from your presence so when we talk about the kingdom of god we mean everywhere including hell because there is no record of satan creating anything it was the psalmist who said even if i hide if i find myself down to the pit you are still there the kingdom of god is every sphere where the dominion of god can reach if there is anywhere the dominion of god cannot reach whoever is responsible for dominion in that area should be god so he's everywhere are we together now but the kingdom of heaven is that that area that that sphere where the dominion of jesus has been received and allowed to find expression in reality it's called the kingdom of heaven the word heaven there does not just mean up you know like we know so when the bible talks about the kingdom of heaven he means that there is a call that you should be able to through well I, I, i'm not going ahead of myself but you will understand at the end of this teaching that just because you are in the kingdom of god does not mean you will experience the reality of the life of god it takes you functioning from the standpoint of the kingdom of heaven now you have embraced his government and you have allowed it to find expression are we together so jesus is teaching them and he says when you pray pray in this manner he was not necessarily saying repeat this it was not about repetition it was a spiritual protocol he says when you approach god let this be your revelation number one you are approaching abba his father don't come to him as a stranger that prayer in the kingdom is a family affair abba father number two 
who art in heaven meaning you will require faith in dealing with god because he's in a domain that is more than he's not in a physical sphere here that means you will sustain a technology that can help you to interact with the realm of the spirit and the physical realm and it is called faith so be conscious that the god you are talking to and the father you are talking to is not physically there with you so you would need faith who art in heaven number three hallowed be your name that even though he's your father do not get too familiar with him he's also the god of the universe so approach him not just with confidence but with the spirit of reverence are we together and then next it says thy kingdom come in other words in order of priority this is god's ultimate desire for you that his kingdom his influence his governing influence that it will find expression in earth the bible says as it is in heaven you would notice the bible didn't say on earth in earth and you may have heard me say that the first earth is you that earthen vessel that the kingdom the dominion of heaven should find expression first in you and then across the spheres of influence hallelujah so he tells us that he desires do you know why this is powerful because if this is answered you will not have to pray give us our daily bread again you would not have to pray deliver us from evil again that the the fact that you need daily bread and the fact that there is the presence of evil is because of the absence of the kingdom so he said while i am solving those problems the real thing that will answer that issue once and for all is the coming of the kingdom provided the kingdom does not find expression there will always be lack there will always be oppression so he's saying i will provide your needs i will do everything that you need however my ultimate desire is that it be done in your life and in earth as it is in heaven they do not pray give us our daily bread in heaven they do not pray deliver us from evil in heaven and so he says that which occurs in heaven I desire for it to happen here that this prayer request of give us our daily bread is a symptom of something wrong that the presence of the kingdom will remedy it permanently so that while he's bridging that gap and providing daily that his ultimate desire is not to provide daily is that you step into a realm of supplies that the presence of the kingdom captures are we together but that's really not where i'm going tonight he now tells us how the kingdom comes if he just told us that his desire is for the governing influence of heaven to find expression in our lives and he just left us there we would be in confusion and he said the kingdom comes when your will is being done please give us verse 10 thy kingdom come and he tells you how the kingdom comes thy will be done someone please say thy will be done this is very powerful that means the secret to manifesting the kingdom the secret to enforcing the kingdom is found in the will of god that everywhere the will of god is allowed to find expression the kingdom must come within that place are we together now so in pursuit to see that the kingdom of God comes, your focus should not really just be the kingdom, but it should be understanding the will. And this is what I want to help us understand tonight. The Bible lets us know that everything happens within this kingdom and on earth. If it is to glorify God, it must be consistent with his will. His will is a representation of his desires. His will is a representation of his plans for man so he says everywhere my will is done my kingdom comes if you see my governing influence and the possibilities that follow that influence happen in any area it is because my will has been allowed to find expression now that is a risk it is a risk to submit yourself to the will of another except that he tells you 
that as as god and as father i am a benevolent god he's not afraid to tell you the thoughts that i think towards you to douse away your fear because submitting to someone's will carry is a risk and he says fear not for the thoughts that i think towards you jeremiah 29 11 that they are always thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you a future and hope or an expected end that means i trust the will of god why because i know that my interest is represented in his will the idea of submitting to the will of a king if not properly understood would 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 paint god as an insincere manipulator who gives just because he wants to draw you to submit to his will until you understand that the entirety of that will is for your good are we together now yeah we talk about selflessness in relationships is that true um, we talk about doing things not because of who you are and all of that so when you see the benevolence of god as revealed in scripture and then you find out now that for you to be effective in the kingdom you must bend to his will without accurate understanding it immediately confuses you because it means so all of the things you are doing is tied to my executing your will that sounds like a selfish manifestation from a king except that the entirety of his will is to your benefit apostle james taught us that god is love and that perfect love cast out fear because fear hath torment so we are not afraid of the will of god whether we fully understand it or not because we know that the will of god is always to our advantage this becomes our security in allowing his will to find expression in our lives are we learning something now praise the name of the lord let's discuss a bit about his will because if the will of god does not happen in my life and your life the kingdom will never truly find expression the will of god in psalm 40 i'll give you a few scriptures psalm 40 from verse 7 and 8 psalm 40 from verse 7 and 8 it says lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written of me i delight to do thy will O my god yea thy law is within my heart this is the psalm is speaking by the spirit i delight not to do what i want to do i delight to do your will no wonder he was a man after god's heart no wonder he lived in the reality of the manifested presence of god received sounds and encounters that were beyond his realm it was him that saw the coronation service of jesus the lord said to my lord because his heart was about the will of god psalm 143 and verse 10 psalm 143 and verse 10 he says teach me to do thy will for thou art my god thy spirit is good lead me into the land of uprightness teach me to do thy will i confess that i'm ignorant of your will but that your kingdom coming is tied to your will being done so teach me not just to do my desires teach me not just to do what i feel like doing the secret of securing your presence your power your glory in my life and in my atmosphere is to do your will please pay attention to this subject of will therein lies the secret behind the manifestation of the hand of god the possibilities of the kingdom in the life of an individual and even across a territory teach me to do thy will when jesus showed up as the son of god in john chapter 4 and verse 34 when jesus showed up you would think that just because he was god incarnate he would come and just do whatever he wanted to do i mean that was the word coming from the father john said in the beginning was the word the word was with god the word was god so you would think that automatically everything he would do would be according to his desires but hear what jesus said the word of god now speaking jesus said unto them my meat do you know what that means my meat means my satisfaction like you eat for satisfaction my satisfaction is derived from doing the will of him that sent me and to finish 
his work my goodness in other words jesus was saying i did not come with a personal agenda of my own my assignment is to find out the will of the father and to be about doing it that was the secret behind his exploits the things that the reality of the kingdom finding expression in the life of jesus did not just happen just because he was jesus because remember jesus came as a pattern man to show us what we would be like if we walk according to the pattern jesus himself had no agenda no wonder the father said this is my beloved son and then later on he would say this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased hear ye him he is my recommendation if you want to secure my presence my glory my power the reality of the possibilities that come with this kingdom understudy this pattern man called jesus and jesus here is giving us the secret that my meat while i walked upon the earth my satisfaction was to do the will of him not the will of them the will of him that sent me the will of him that sent me are we learning john chapter 6 and verse 40 jesus still speaking john chapter 6 and verse 40 let's read together if you can see it ready it says and this is the will of him that sent me that everyone which seeth the son and believeth on him may have everlasting life and i will raise him up on the last day that means all the crusades of jesus and his message his message did not just come out of a sermon he prepared in isolation his message was a derivative of the will of the father his call to draw people close to god to experience the life that only his death his burial and resurrection would administer it was not a personal agenda it was derived from this will thy kingdom come by your will being done hallelujah two more scriptures is god speaking to us in ephesians chapter 5 from verse 15 apostle paul now mentoring the church in ephesus he began to speak to them about walking circumspectly he says walk circumspectly that means accurately not as fools but as wise he said redeeming the time because the days are evil the instruction is in the next verse he says therefore be ye not unwise but understanding the will what the will of the lord is he's saying that when you understand the will of the lord it will help you to walk accurately so that you don't waste your time doing so many things only to come back later and find out that you were about the things that did not carry eternal value he said the wisdom here is making sure before you take any step verify that you are in the will of god He's giving you an advice. First, he tells you that you can walk in foolishness or in wisdom. And then he says, let me teach you how to walk in wisdom. Understand what the will of God is. Verse 17 now. Understand what the will of the Lord is. To understand the will of the Lord. Because that is how you secure his glory, his power, and all the possibilities that come with him are we blessed in first john chapter 2 and verse 17 first john chapter 2 and verse 17 apostle john is teaching us to love not the world remember when you read the preceding verses say love not the world nor the things that are in the world for all that are in the world this and that when he gets to verse 17 here's what he says and the world passeth away and the lost thereof he says but he that doeth the will of god abides forever he that is about doing the will of god abides forever are you ready for the next verse hmm. first john chapter 5 from verse 14 to the point that the guarantee to your answered prayer which is the basis for receiving everything is dependent on the degree to which your prayer aligns to his will more than your tears more than the sincerity of the trouble that plagues you he says this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything 
according to his will key expression according to his will our confidence that is that he cannot hear anything about his will and ignore it are we together that god has a soft spot his soft spot is that he does not deny or negate anything that is connected to his will so the way to get god's attention is tie anything you want to his will he says that when you tie once his will is involved he does not sustain the ability to deny it he calls it our confidence it's like a loophole we have found in our walking with god that every time i try to get god's attention and i find out that for whatever reason he does not seem to give me attention i know how to get his attention hmm. when hannah continued to pray and pray for a child every year she came to shiloh praying and it looked like god was not interested so you would think she found a plan according to your will it is the king priest and prophet there has to be a prophet who will anoint the kings and now i do not see any prophet on sight except eli who is an old man and this man may die so oh god my womb has the possibility of providing a son who can later be a prophet god said what did you say once once the Bible does not say anybody just came and, and there's nothing wrong with that, that there was some prayer for her. She just found a way of connecting her desire to his will. This is the confidence. He does not, he said, this is the confidence. In other words, bank on this possibility, bank on this loophole, if I would use it. In the north sadly there is a lot of kidnapping and some of these kidnappers studied men and they found out that there were certain people if they capture the their families didn't pay attention to them are we together yes pragmatically speaking they found out that there are certain people when you capture and you tell them bring five million they say look whatever you do just do because clearly we don't have that money but there were certain individuals that if they were captured the family will go left right and center to insist and they found out that from their experience every time they capture children both parents government the society seemed to be restless until those children were restored and so they said we have a plan rather than stealing people one by one and struggling and bargaining for one one million two two million let's just come to a school or let's just come to a region and capture as many children it will be too much for the government and individuals to ignore us it was a plan they found a loophole here apostle john is telling us there is something i have learned walking with god that every time anything is connected to the will of god it's like you have touched a soft spot that will compel him are we together yes you see why god made a covenant with david david sat down and said god there is something i've done to you that is not fair what is it i am here dwelling in the palace and even though the heaven of heavens belong to you but there is no place there is no representation here for a temple and whether or not you are in agreement with this as for me i've made up my mind that i will stand up and build you a house and god said who is this prophet nathan talk to this man i will enter an eternal covenant with you a covenant of mercy that no matter what you do i will punish you but there will never be anybody there will never be the absence of someone to sit on your throne a covenant that came because he understood the power of the will of god let's look at that scripture one more time first john 5 14 and 15. this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will take note anything according to his will anything tie it according to his will he heareth us 15 it says and if we know that he heareth us whatsoever we ask we know that we have the petitions we desired of him 
we don't have to wait until it manifests our verification system is that our petition went through the sieve of his will and provided his will was connected to it we find rest that what we have asked is coming are we together yes so if we want to see the kingdom find expression in our lives we must be able to understand and to know his will there are two assignments god is giving us tonight very quickly before we begin to pray assignment number one is found in colossians chapter one and verse nine the first assignment as far as making the kingdom manifest in our lives and our communities Paul was praying over the church in Colossae and he says for this cause we also since the day we heard it do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will everybody say the knowledge of his will that means walking in the will of God requires knowing what the will is he leaves that as an assignment the knowledge of his will you must know the will of God the knowledge of his will what has God said concerning you what is the will of God concerning your destiny what is the will of God concerning your finances what is the will of God concerning your health that is the cure for praying amiss you pray according to his will are we together now yes the greatest skill I know in prayer is to pray according to his will regardless the sound of your voice regardless the position of prayer the ultimate verification system is that if it is not according to his will it is only the mercy of god that may make that prayer answered this is our confidence he says that we grow in the knowledge of his will there is the confidence that a believer carries when you know you are walking in the will of God you cannot walk in the will of God until you know let me tell you this do you know how Jesus got to learn the will of the Father read your Bible he did not just come with it because he was the Son of God remember he stripped himself of everything that would make him God and he started afresh at age 12 the Bible told us that Jesus was about the temple asking questions interacting with the pharisees he was not just trying to know the law he was searching what exactly is the will of god and he found that the will of god written concerning him by the time we get to luke chapter 4 from verse 16 he got to the temple he had mastered the knowledge of the will of god and with confidence the bible says he came to nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went to the synagogue on the sabbath day and stood up for to read what was he reading the will of god concerning him it was delivered to him the book of the prophet isaiah and when he opened the book he found a place where it was written the spirit of the lord is upon me this is jesus now because he had anointed me he found out he was the me that the prophet was talking about there that means my going about to do good my going about to heal the sick is consistent with the will of God are you seeing there he had sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives recovery of sight to the blind and to set at liberty them that are bruised and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord he closed the scripture verse 20 and the bible says he gave it again to the minister he sat down and the eyes of all that were in the synagogue was fastened on him and then when you read on the bible says he began to tell them that this day someone said this day he said this day is this scripture what scripture the revelation of god's will for me as far as my assignment is concerned and everywhere he saw the sick and they reached out to him he did not withhold his hand because he knew that he was walking in the will of God the will of God secures his backing the will of God secures his presence the will of God secures that heaven will be with you 
God is not going to bat you. You will not see the glory of God manifest in an area and in doing something that is inconsistent with his will. Are we together? The first assignment is to know his will. His will is whatever is written. You may have heard me teach that every time you open your Bible, it does not tire me to share this with the body of Christ. That the Bible primarily contains three dimensions and three expressions of spiritual reality. Number one, promises. The will of God, his promises. His promises define the boundary of his commitment to the believer. God cannot be committed to the believer outside of the provisions that his promises allow. Please understand this. That means when you want to secure the help and the attention of God, you must be able to secure where it is written that that help should be given to you. If you cannot find where it is written that the help can be given to you, even though God can help you, he has submitted himself to his word and he would have to work within the jurisdiction and the allowance that his word provides. That is why God only does what he says. He does not do what he can do. He does what he says. If he has not said it, there is no possibility of it being done. You have to, on this is the protocol. That's how God works. If God wants to do something, he does not do it in silence. He has to announce it. Even if he's alone there, he will still say it. The saying it is not just for you to hear. It is a protocol that his power only moves in the direction of his speakings. So the Bible says, like me, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. It didn't say, let the redeemed that is in the presence of others. Uh -uh. Even if you are alone. Let's bless the Lord for our Father. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Hallelujah. Are we together? Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the prosperous of the Lord say so. Let the blessed of the Lord say so. Saying so is not informing people that you know what you are saying. Saying so is creating the platform for the power of God to back it. Someone say so. Say so. Declare, I am blessed. I am saying so declare that i am the head and not the tail i am saying so i'm not just announcing to principalities and powers i'm releasing that sound in the spirit and everywhere that sound goes the power of god trails the sound until it comes to fruition listen before jesus died he said so that he would die and come back to life if jesus did not say it he would never be able to return he had to say it it is the reason why everything that happened in scripture especially in the life of jesus there had to be a prophet that said it even the prophets were not they were not saying it to see it. they knew they would not see it but they had to keep that word so that when the power of performance come it will ask where is the word that guarantees this for 400 years certain words remained in the realm of the spirit and when the time came listen you have to learn this the power of God came in January to lift you but did not find the word you release in the spirit that makes for the lifting the power of God came to favor you it's not that God did not answer the prayer but where is the will where is the will the will translated in words the law court is not a place of silence it's a place of speech even though there are things written the lawyers and the judges don't just say look at it see it no in the court there is no see it they say it declare doubt that ye might test be justified are you learning can i tell you this no matter how long the words will stay keep them there the day the power assigned to that word comes let it find the will waiting the union of that will and the power of God guarantees that there shall be a performance. So, there was a word, a young virgin shall bear a son. And the power of God started looking for that word. 
he found that word and start, uh, started going around the nations and it landed on a young lady and the angel she was not praying for an angel to come the angel was following the wheel according to the blueprint of god's program jesus was about to arrive and it would take a virgin to bring him the bible never said mary because there was no name any virgin that made herself available would have been used if mary said no he would have left her and gone to another one because no name was attached the same way satan too looks for this wheel it's an information he talked about the betrayal of jesus but he never said judas judas was not the first person satan tested read your bible he tested peter he tested other people judas was the one who was available there was there was there was nothing written in scripture that money would be the basis of deception it would have been anything he just found a treasurer that he could cash in on his availability assignment number one we're still discussing the assignment the knowledge of his will that means listen you're excelling in this kingdom you want the kingdom to come you must be able to laboriously work with the holy spirit to have in your life and within your reach a compendium of the will of god this is here scattered through scripture but you can go a step further to piece together everything you know he has said concerning you that becomes the basis of everything you do when satan came to jesus after praying and fasting jesus would have said what an insult i created you he said no it is written i have to connect my desire to the will it is written why would the word say it is written it is written it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God it is written it is written it is written the will of God is someone learning yes. the will of God is scattered through scripture let me walk you through three or four principles or three or four scriptures that are scattered in scripture that reveal the will of God as far as our excelling in this kingdom is concerned number one Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26 to 28 the Bible says God made man in his own image and after his likeness and he gave him he said let them have dominion watch this now over the fish of the sea in other words have dominion over this territory of the sea have dominion over the air and have dominion over the earth let me tell you the implication it's not about fish and cattle and birds these are spheres every manipulation of witchcraft happens within this realm the sea the air or land he's saying i have given you dominion that means with that consciousness it is illegal for any of these elements to be used within your reach against you and that it succeeds because you were given dominion it is are you getting that now over everything that creeps upon and then when we get to verse 28 god blessed adam and he said be fruitful you don't need to ask god should i be fruitful his will is clear be fruitful be fruitful let me tell you what that means be fruitful also means be relational you can't be fruitful alone fruitfulness requires relationships that means whoever must show up in my life so that i become fruitful you are part of that command you see that now this is where you can find the basis to call destiny helpers because god said be fruitful and i cannot be fruitful alone so whoever is connected to my destiny to ensure that fruitfulness by reason of the knowledge of his will i can declare that they come and they will come it says multiply replenish subdue have dominion deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command you this day 
verse 2 says thou shalt be exalted on high above the nations of the earth say influence so influence is the will of god for me that it is possible and god desires that i'm exalted above the nations of the earth and then he says this blessing shall come upon you and even overtake you i believe this i believe this are you learning now these are scriptures genesis 17 and verse 6 genesis 17 and verse 6 that scripture just came to my spirit someone say amen if you believe it amen. and i will make thee exceeding fruitful it says and i will make notice i will i will i will it is my will i'm not just thinking it i will make thee exceeding fruitful i will make nations of thee and kings shall come out of thy loins listen hear me when you understand this and your child returns with a result that may not be the best you have a right to go to god remember the confidence in prayer and say lord according to your will i have discovered that kings and nobles should come out of me not armed robbers and problem creators therefore i place a demand upon your integrity to make your word good this is how we reign in this kingdom can i tell you most of this is sympathetic emotional approach to christian living may just comfort us but it would not produce result lord what is this why is my life like this if it's a prayer of inquiry no problem the holy ghost will help you but if that is what you mean that you are praying you are wrong you are wrong prayer has to be according to his will there are rules of engagement when jesus was in gethsemane Here's what he said, Father, please, left for me, it is within your power to take away all this pain. You are God, you can do all things. Why don't you just declare over men that they are saved? But he remembered, if I am ever outside of the will of the Father, I am outside the zone of safety. I am outside the zone of immunity. And quickly, he said, nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done hallelujah so colossians chapter 1 and verse 9 the knowledge of his will please write it an, as an as an assignment you have to go back and stay with god and laboriously search through scripture what has he said jesus himself went to search what was written concerning him as consistent with the will of god what have you found that was written concerning you thou shalt be the head and not the tail thou shalt be above only and not beneath is that true now you believe it that becomes your garrison your fortification that every time you come to him he says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed so everywhere we travel to we expect to be blessings because there is a will that backs us you cannot travel to a nation or travel to any life and be a cause because it is against the will. Are we blessed? Yes, sir. Assignment number two. When you find out the knowledge of his will, the second assignment is found in Hebrews chapter 13 from verse 20 and 21. Hebrews chapter 13 now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ the great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant 21 he says make you perfect the word perfect there means entire not just matured entire in every good work to do his will do you know what this means the God who desires that you do his will, may he supply every grace needed to insist that there is no excuse to doing his will. This is the prayer. So the first is to know his will. And then number two, he's saying, let him make you entire. The word perfect there is not missing anything. That means if I need prosperity to do his will, that God will have to make that grace abound towards me. 
if i need supernatural intelligence if i need superior levels of the anointing provided it is a tool to help me do his will he says perfect in every good work entire all the tools you will need it's like an architect or a builder so he has a headpan he has the mixer he has everything and if there is anything left God provides it to make sure there is no excuse as far as doing the will is concerned. That's what he did to Jesus. Because Jesus came determined to do the will of the Father. He ensured that even if it meant the Spirit without measure, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, the Bible says, with the Holy Ghost and with power, he went about doing good. Because it's the will of God. Every good and perfect gift comes from above. From the Father of lights, in whom there is no variableness, nor shadow of turning. So if I am an advocate of good, I must be strengthened by the Spirit. That means that it takes more than the knowledge of the will of God to do the will of God. It takes an engracing from heaven. This is one of the things we have come to receive tonight. Because many of you have found the will of God for your life. But the strength to push through. You know God wants you to be somewhere. You know God wants you to feed a thousand children. But the where without to make it happen. This conference, this night is supposed to bring to your life whatever tool is needed. Listen. I'm saying this so that as we begin to pray, as we begin to worship, you open up your heart. For some of you, the level of wisdom that the will of God as revealed by your destiny requires, you don't yet have it. So whilst we are praying, when we say impartation, don't just think of falling down alone. No. Know what is coming to you from heaven. The nature the job description of my call which is consistent with his will requires that i speak to kings and i need wisdom so when the power of god is coming you know that wisdom from heaven superior wisdom that is more than wisdom that comes with age is coming as a tool for the will the grace that he supplied upon our lives by the privilege of god's grace it is because he knows that it is part of the equipping required you know sometimes people send me text messages i'm sure that's that's true for pastor nat when i saw him and he just came to say hello i said pastor nat you didn't have to come i understand you've been stretched and now he teased me and said we also saw you traveling from wherever and coming here you see this supernatural strength if you are lying ministry will prove whether you really have caught this thing or not you can't pretend it so if he gave you the spirit of might it is because he knows that the demand but your life is consistent with his will so you will see a unique expression of that strength it is not normal whoever does not have his will connected like that who tries it will suffer because the immunity that protects you as you are about his will may not be there for someone else that's why someone can rest his head for 15 minutes and get the strength of three hours is part of the equipping that came upon you to insist that you are effective in doing his will one time the father's love needed to be revealed in a crusade ground problem there was no food and he said feed them i am teaching them about the father i don't want them to live with the impression that god is only concerned about their spiritual lives and they said look don't embarrass us these people are angry we've been three days here with them even a yes if, if we have bakers who come and make bread let's quietly let them go home he said no i want them to know something about the extent to which the father can go to reveal his benevolence even over their needs and to do that there was a unique grace that multiplies it came in honor to that desire can i tell you the reason why many people seem not to be anointed is because the entirety of their pursuit has no kingdom come in it and the entirety of their pursuit has no space for God's will to be done believe me you can pray and fast for hundred days if there is no kingdom come captured in your desire and no determination to do his will 
at the end of that prayer and fasting all that will happen is god will reveal the corruption of your heart for you to take you back to another fasting that you now be a proper fast for his will are we together the assignment god gave pastor nat to reveal the sounds of worship to the nations mandated that not only will he be a gifted worshiper but be able to play this not just as a music tool but as a weapon there are many people who might be able to play the either the saxophone or the trumpet but there is a unique expression of god's grace do you know why because that is the equipping it requires for the will of god as committed to him to find expression thy kingdom come thy will be done i know people sir who didn't have the privilege of really going to school early but when they had certain encounters with god part of the grace that came upon them was the grace to speak fluently because the nature of the will of god allocated to them would require that they would speak to intellectuals and kings and if god if they were to go through that regimen of learning again a major part of their years of active service will be wasted and so god had to outsource a way of making them match to her oh, you don't know how far god can go in making you ready to fulfill his will it is these kinds of people that he suffered no man to do them wrong and even rebuke kings for their sake saying you know people misquote this scripture out of context people who have veered of the will of god and they say he suffered no man and everything wrong is hurting them your security is in the will of god So when the bible says your kingdom come and that your will be done the meaning of that listen carefully please the meaning of that is that every time i know the will of god and i obtain the grace from heaven to subscribe to that will in truth heaven will find expression so let me use for instance let's assume my brother here can i use you sir please come let's assume that this gentleman Is suffering from some ailment right now are we together you know that with a diseased body there is a limit to which is able to serve the purposes of God is that true and then more so it is the will of God that all men not only be saved but to be healthy I wish above all things the Spirit speaking through the Apostle that thou prosper and be in health so if it is true that it is his will there must be a provision to remedy this diseased body so when i come in the name of the lord and as i minister to this man it's more than just a man of god being anointed i have committed my life and said lord knowing that it is your will to heal the sick can i become a tool in your hands that you can use to birth your purposes on this wise and god will honor it and honor your desire by giving you the requisite level of engracing can i tell you there are people who really do not plan to be millionaires but by the nature of what god wants you to do as revealing his will you will have to be a millionaire run away it will look for you the reason is because without it you cannot truly be able to reveal the purposes of god as committed to you are we together so God anoints this trumpet and anoints pastor Nat and while he ministers the sick are healed oppression situations give way do you know why because he has committed his life to reveal the will of God what is the will of God that all men be saved what is the will of God that we experience the fullness of the reality of the life and the power of God so whoever plunges into that will is secured of the backing of heaven I must walk the works of him that sent me and he says when I sent you lackest thou anything 
when I sent you not when you went when I sent you because if I send you I send you to do my will if I tell this man now please just go to that pastor Nat's table and pick a bottle of water you see that for instance i am sending you my desire is to get that bottle right here and you have made yourself available and sometimes i can be so benevolent to say you will find two bottles drink one on your way bringing the message so if someone sees you drinking he says this is unfair it's not unfair it's the privilege of walking in the wheel you see, there are certain things you see God doing to people and you say, this is unfair. And God says, no, don't look at what they are enjoying. Look at what they are doing. The day they stop doing that, which reveals his will, the privileges that follow that. This is why sometimes when people clap for us and say all kinds of things and say, ah, I think you must be, he reminds us immediately, your immunity and your prosperity and your influence is connected to the will. The day your commitment towards the will dies, there is no legitimate ground of giving you those resources again. I can tell you why many people go up, respectfully speaking, and you see that after many years, they just fade like a leaf. Maybe fame, maybe challenges, maybe frustration, just veered them out of the will of God. And they just decided to build an empire for themselves. And God, after several warnings, after several cautions, through men, by revelation, by scripture, that they ignored, God will be safe to assume that they have made an intentional decision that I am no longer interested in being part of your will. And he will respect their will. And in respecting their will, he will now withdraw the privileges that should have come as touching their obedience to his will. Believe me, this is true. Provided you are rooted in the will of God. Thy kingdom come is a very, very serious statement. Thy kingdom come means, Lord, I volunteer myself that for the rest of my life, I will not be found anywhere that is outside the scope of your will. Whatever you desire, is what I am doing. You know, the word logos means the thoughts of God and the intention of God in motion. His desire that wants to find expression. Jesus became an embodiment of God's will. Can you imagine that everything you want, you find someone who is doing it? Let me show you what Jesus was to the Father. I'm thinking now, I am testing. Suddenly, He goes to bring me water. I'm thinking now I need to help this lady he goes to help her everything the father was thinking Jesus was doing that was why he was fail proof everything the degree to which you succeed or fail is the degree to which you were in his will or outside of his will because sometimes we come in and go out people just come in and go out and that accounts for the failures and the successes Jesus was an expression of the father's will and desire if the father wanted this lifted you will see jesus lifting it if the father wanted it down you will see jesus bringing it down this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased and he says hear ye him if you ignore him he is an expression of my will whatever you see him do is what i'm thinking whatever you see him do that means every time jesus was headed the crusade ground the will of god was there desiring that the people be saved why do i know that the lord jesus will heal people here tonight because his word reveals his will is that true when he sent them two by two matthew chapter 10 verse 1 verse 7 verse 8 when he sent them he says as you go preach he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal how many read your bible all manner of sickness and all manner verse 2 of disease disease does not mean bodily infirmity disease means anything that interrupts your convenience poverty failure whatever makes you cry is a disease that's why he's separated between sickness and disease many people are not sick 
but they have a lot of diseases in their lives hmm. by the time someone decides to sit on your file and say for as long as i'm here you will remain here qualified or not that is a disease he that told you have asked for nothing he says ask and you will receive that your joy is that not one of the expression of the kingdom righteousness peace and joy that means whatever interrupts your joy is stopping the manifestation of the kingdom and god has to do something about it ah. but thou O oh lord are a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou O oh lord are a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head so don't be surprised tonight that while you are here because the word of god is going to be declared remember his will again the power of god does not just search for men it searches for god's will so we are releasing the will of god through words and it comes to you because that will has landed on you and such is these five areas of your life need correction and the power moves like a messless warrior and begins to correct things just like that so do not be surprised that whilst you are here on account of God's determination to see his kingdom come by his will being done he can wake someone who is asleep right now somewhere and compel them to arise and say 2021 should not finish without you blessing this person I really believe what I'm telling you I truly believe it there are some of you right here let me tell you sincerely what would have happened God revealed his will by January that some things should have been in place by November but as it is whether by demonic attack or lack of discernment it is not there but the power of God remember words don't die and as the word of God is being declared the Holy Ghost will move the blessings of January into February into March into April into May because you see listen you can't go back into January again but the Holy Ghost can go back home yes sir that means listen he can go into January and check what did God say should happen by now you should be lifted did it happen no he picks that blessing and shops all of those blessings brings it into today and lands it on you this night so that doors begin to open in ways that surprise you thy kingdom come. everything that makes for kingdom come you must believe now here one last example and then we pray The Bible says, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you. All the dimensions of grace, prospering grace, healing grace, grace that produces speed. God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye, having sufficiency in all things, may abound. God does not do things just for nothing whatever he does is connected to his will because his will is connected to the manifestation of his kingdom i came here tonight lending my voice with pastor nat alongside all the ministers who have come believing god that tonight will truly be a miracle and an impartation service what is a miracle service a miracle service is a platform that allows the multifaceted possibilities that are captured in the Christ to be expressed even by the Spirit of God in the lives of individuals. It is not limited to bodily healing. There are all kinds of possibilities that I want you to expect. Remember, he says, he that told you have asked for nothing. He said, ask and you will receive. And the protocol is you ask according to his will. Is that true? Mark chapter 11 and verse 24. 
the rule is that what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray what things soever ye desire is that true when ye pray say believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it but now he gives you an added information that your desire must be consistent with his will the bible contains promises the bible contains principles the bible contains prophecies every time you open your bible you are interacting with these three dimensions of realities the promises of god a compendium of his commitment to you number two the principles of the kingdom a revelation of the modus operandi of the kingdom how the kingdom operates number three prophecies giving you hope about the future hallelujah thank you you are my hiding place you always feel my heart with songs of deliverance whenever I am afraid I will trust in you I will trust in you let the weak say forget the two assignments that God is giving us number one you must be about the pursuit of growing in the knowledge of his will the knowledge of his will that is the basis for seeing the outstretched arm and the power of God in your life and number two the engracing that makes you entire to fulfill that will then the secret was revealed to Daniel God can reveal his will God can reveal his will did you hear what I said God can reveal his will according to scripture the Bible says for everyone that asketh, receive it not men of God who ask not preachers who ask everyone that asketh, receive it and to him that seeks he shall find to him that knocks the door shall be opened it's an assurance based on the word of God now please hear me I know that we're here trusting God for all kinds of things in our lives I want you to pray and declare Lord I know it is your will for me to do this and that you see when you know the will of God no theology and no sermon will distract you from the certainty of the things that you believe if I believe it is the will of God for me to prosper, there is nothing that will make me negate the reality of kingdom prosperity as far as fulfilling his will is concerned. Is that true? If I believe that it is God's will for me, that the fullness of my days I will fulfill, even if sadly I have to be around an environment where people lose loved ones, and even if I'm affected myself, I still remain resolute in the fact that this is God's will. It is on the basis of his will that we can say let ev let God be true and every man while we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen the things that are seen are transient they are temporal but the things that are unseen consistent with his will are eternal so the first prayer point tonight let it be from the depth of your heart you're going to cry if you know the will of God concerning that area, begin to declare it. If you do not know, I'd like you to pray and say, Father, grant me access to the knowledge of your will concerning this and that area. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Hey, brush, get the balacusa, the brandy, get the balanaba. Shabrande, get the belekusa, the pratas, get the baladaras. Make sure you are praying. 
front to the back, left to right, following online, make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Still Hebrews 13, 21. You're going to pray. I'd like you to look at your life sincerely. Be very honest. We're stepping into a very prophetic session right now. I want you to look at your life. What do you know that is needed in your life right now? As far as the revelation of the glory of God through your life is concerned, that is not yet captured. Let that be your passion because there is a grace that controls it. If it is speed that you need in your life, so that the manifestation of the kingdom will be true in your life and yet you have not seen it that becomes your desire there is grace that is available for every dimension some of you god has called you you have the call of god upon your life but doing end time ministry without results will frustrate you you will be angry you will be frustrated some of you are called like pastor nat into the ministry of prophetic psalmistry sounding the shofar to the nations but as it is the requisite level of engracing that makes you effective is not there i want you to for one minute be tired of your current condition and say lord my life is not the greatest expression of your kingdom yet i pray that the unction that must come from heaven to make this happen for me let it come oh god someone is praying hallelujah we are still going to pray that prayer maybe can i have one person from the worship thing sing me that last song that adonai song very powerful want to tear this place open right now it says oh that thou would rend the heavens listen don't forbear with anything that is not a true manifestation of the kingdom refuse it and reject it whatever it is whether it is sickness once it is not consistent with the will of god please help me we'll sing that adonai song together as a united force we are going to cry that shout and the moment we sing it once or twice i'll begin to minister by the spirit of god I really believe that for many of you mantles will fall upon your life tonight fall upon your life and turn you to another man listen 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 please I want you to be, don't be distracted don't be distracted this is about the manifestation of the kingdom of God by his will being done in your life we are enforcers of his will enforcers of his will if i know that god desires to elevate me so that from that elevated position jesus is revealed through my life and the devil is trying to fight me tonight is the night that we crush him down to his knees hallelujah yes sir
I sense such a strong anointing in this place. Adonai. Just that part. Adonai. I just sense in my spirit to start with please listen look up please i'm about to pray right now there are people here i sense in my spirit that the spirit of god is uniquely selecting people in this place that he will use as enforcers of the kingdom within their families listen it may not be everybody but i want to pray the power of god is going to come on such people please bring them out right now in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, Spirit of the living God, I decree by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that everyone here that has been ordained by the Spirit to be the enforcers of the kingdom within their families, right now, under this prophetic atmosphere, I decree, let that fire fall. Let that fire fall. Let that fire fall. Let that fire fall. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please open up your heart. I see a mighty move of the spirit here. I'm still praying. Some of you, your family members have prayed. Who will arise and become that platform of liberation right now the power of god is coming on you god is still recruiting men i declare may that fire fall right now front to the back please bring them out whether you are an usher or not help them enough is enough thy kingdom come it's time for your destiny to manifest the reality of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. Here's what is going to happen. I've requested that Pastor Nat, in a very prophetic way, he's going to blast this shofar. Listen. You're not going to sing. The moment they blast that shofar, if there is anyone here called into the prophetic there will be a strong anointing coming upon you that's what the lord is telling me there are many people here it's time for that prophetic dimension within your spirit to find expression i just wanted to bring them out as the power of god rests upon them some of you have seen it in dreams you've seen it in visions it's time to walk in that grace yes sir Prophetic mantles. This is a spirit, a spiritual clarion call. They break the contact zakata. They break up them, help them. They produce kete leketa. We activate the prophetic in the name of Jesus. Let the fountains of the deep be open. 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 Be released. Be released. Spring up all wells from the realm of the spirit. Spring up all wells upon the oasis. hallelujah now please hear me i want to rebuke the spirit of delay 
I found myself praying this again and again. Truly, there is a spirit of delay. And I want to take authority over that spirit right now. That if there be anyone at the sound of my voice, at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. As we shout that name, here at the oasis, I decree and declare that everything that has tied your destiny down must give way. Are you ready now? At the count of three, one, two, three, shout Jesus. I command delay. Go now. Over families. Delay. Over businesses. Delay. Over destiny. We cross you by the God of heaven. We cross you by the God of heaven. We cross you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Now hear me please. In the next one minute, mention everything that must live your life now. Whatever it is that is not a representation of the kingdom of God. Remember what I told you about words. That the power of God follows the words that are consistent with his will. Open your mouth in one minute. Begin to declare. Open your mouth in one minute. Begin to declare. Captivity. We judge you. Barrenness. We judge you. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. Hallelujah. Who is David? David. I'm hearing a name, David. You're a gentleman called David. Just have a few minutes and then we'll pray for the sick. I'm hearing a name, David. Is there anyone called David? Come, my friend. I tell you there is a warrior anointing in this place God is rising as a mighty man of war for the things you have done and the battles you have won only you are worthy of my praise we magnify your name we glorify your name we magnify your name we glorify your name hallelujah hallelujah the lord is showing me a man of god you are not you are not part of this the oasis you, you are a man of god you came of course i know there may be several men of god but you are in ministry actively in ministry you came particularly for this program you are not you are not a member of the oasis this is what i'm seeing is there someone like that i want to pray for you because the lord is opening a new vista for you in ministry please don't come out carelessly let's have to verify them please let there be order don't just come out carelessly where are you coming from sir huh from the streets. wow also not i just saw something there is someone here, God gave you an instruction to lend the trumpet. Who is that? 
like you had a dream God gave you an instruction that you should learn this trumpet the way Pastor Nat is playing please don't tell lies don't, don't just come out who is that person this is what the Lord gave me what do you do uh -uh, what do you do I make graphic designs you make graphic designs and he said you should learn this, learn this have you started yesterday I spoke to somebody about it all of you you too I'll pray for you why are they all here David the power of God is coming on two of you I'm going to pray my God the power of God is going to come please help them it's coming on two of you and the Lord is saying I should tell you that what I could not do with your father I will do with you this is what I'm hearing what I could not do with your father I will do with you I stretch my hands and I declare in the name that is above all names everything that represents a limitation in your life every manifestation of the spirit of inheritance I come against it right now in Jesus name and I release you by the power that raised Christ from the dead I'm still seeing two of you it's like a, a, there is a mantle an anointing that is coming upon you an engracing of the spirit just for those of you who are in front here we are going to pray for the rest shortly in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead that by this anointing may you be shifted to a dimension in the spirit that will empower you to do exploits for the kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ is there someone called Roti me Roti me where are you Roti me God bless you sirs Roti me I'm hearing a name Roti me please let's hurry up so that don't please don't bring out people at random don't worry I'll pray come madam what's wrong with him I will pray for them eh? just be patient Roti me I'm hearing the name Roti me is there someone like that you are Roti me is it a feminine or oh, okay both okay Roti me Can I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ? Who works with UBA? UBA. I just saw that name, UBA. The bank. Is there someone here who works with UBA? The Lord is instructing me to pray for you. UBA. Please, if, you, if there is such a person, let me pray for you. Let's make this very, very fast. Because I want to pray for the sick. Your name is Rotimi. What happened to you, sir? I fell off my penthouse. You fell? Okay. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God? Again, I'm seeing two of you. The power of God is coming on you. And the Lord is saying, I shall announce to you that it's a new season. You are stepping into the end of an old season. And then a new one is coming. May that grace right now come upon you. A new season. Please help them. By the spirit of the living God. You are stepping into a new season. I prophesy it upon you. In the mighty and even the marvelous name of Jesus. Let there be this supernatural miracle for you. In Jesus name I pray. Please, who is it? UBA? I'm, I'm still seeing this. Is there someone like that? You're walking UBA. Who is that? I want to pray for you. How long have you been there, sir? Nine years. Nine years. I want to pray for you. Will you believe what I tell you? Your days are numbered there. God is shifting you to another. It's still in Nigeria, but a firm that will bless you. I'm not saying you should leave. I'm just telling you this is what God is telling me that your days are numbered there and God is lifting you and it will surprise you how God will make it happen I you believe in the power of prophecy in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands and I pray may the Lord honor this word even over your life in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord honor this word right now 
by the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. Victoria, Victoria, Victoria. The Lord is breaking the bands of witchcraft over your life. Victoria. No problem if you are unable to come out. That's okay, I'll pray for you. Victoria, you know her? Can I pray for, for you, my dear? Look at me. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who you are, but I, the Lord is saying he's breaking the bands of witchcraft over your life. Did the Bible not say he has broken the gates of brass and even caught the bars of iron in sunder? In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. Let him stand. I'll, I'll pray for the sick. Since he has come out, it will be laborious for him to go and come. You know, honestly, every time I see people who are sick and diseased, my heart, I know what it means to be with infirmity. And I've seen the power of God. I know that Jesus heals. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I stretch my hands towards you right now and I pray by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be deliverance for you right now. Four people will start running out right now. Please hold them. Four. Four across the congregation. These things are signs and wonders and that's why we must be flexible embracing the matters of the spirit for this is what i saw it's a marvelous hand and god is saying he's shifting them this is like a shift entering new dimensions of their lives this is what the lord is showing me who is like him lion and the lamb Seated on the throne Mountains bow down And every ocean roar To the Lord of Lords We will praise Adonai From the rising of the sun To the end Praise Adonai All the nations of the earth Sing praise Hallelujah The Lord is showing me someone who You know that you have the call of an evangelist listen carefully but the lord is saying how i will announce you leave that to me because you are wondering lord from my lowly estate where will i start from which ministry will i meet to give me the leverage and the lord is saying i should tell you how he will announce you leave that to him yours is to be consistent allowing his spirit to build you until you mature to a point where he you can now begin to serve his purposes but I'm going to pray for you. The hand of God is going to come upon you. You don't have to bring them out. Lord, I don't know who it is that you are speaking to. But wherever he or she is, let this grace and this mantle that follows their call, wherever they are, Lord, let it land on them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the passion for souls, the grace to see the move of God, because it is the will of God that all men be saved. Therefore, let there be that awakening right now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God, let there be that awakening. A hunger. Some of you may not think that, you, that you, you are able to do it. God does not call the qualified like we've, taught, we've been taught. He qualifies those that he calls. I pray again, may that grace rest upon you now. hallelujah before I pray for the sick I'm just seeing a vision and I'm seeing two names and these names is not just word of knowledge to call them but these are dimensions I'm seeing Joseph and I'm seeing Esther and I know that what is common to both of them is influence that God took them from their lowly estate that means there is a mantle in this place right now 
there is a grace that elevates men hear me i'm about to pray and i will plead again with pastor Nat to blast that shofar some of you from this conference god will take you from where you are and place you in strategic positions that can allow you to represent the purposes of the kingdom lord i pray right now wherever your people are scattered within this auditorium whoever must carry this grace this esther dimension of grace this joseph dimension of grace at the count of three and at the blast of the trumpet may that man to locate you right now one two three take that grace now take that grace now the grace for the palace Esther's arise Joseph's arise Joseph's from the prison we open the gate of the prison go to the throne for the sake of the kingdom Esther's from your lowly estate in the name of Jesus we enthrone you by the anointing we enthrone you by the anointing we enthrone you by the anointing. There are people here who are crying for divine direction. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Should I be in Lagos? Should I relocate? Divine direction. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. I will seek you in the morning. I have learned to walk in your ways. There is a part for you now. Step by step, you lead me, and I will follow you all of my ways. Prophesy step by step. Step by step, you lead me, and I will follow. me the voice that must speak to you the scripture that must come to you to give you accurate direction for the next three four five ten years of your life i declare in the name of jesus the grace to hear that voice take it now the grace to find that scripture take it now every confusion around your life let it come to an end right now hear me and every council of Ahitophel around your life to draw you back and waste years in your life I declare that your ears are close to every wrong counsel hallelujah you believe in what God is doing here pastor Nat can we pray for favor May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations. Your family, your, your children, children, ah. children, your children. May his favor, may his favor be upon you. Receive it as a prophetic word. destinies here that have diligence 
but no favor you are diligent you are not lazy but the favor of God that can come upon a man and assist that man to accomplish destiny on time many of you have not encountered it can I pray for you please believe it in the name of Jesus Christ I tell you this mantle will fall on many people at the count of three everyone here who must see the manifestation of favor on your job in business in family again we decree and declare at the count of three may that grace rest upon you now are you ready one two my god three take that favor now take that grace now favor in the morning favor in the afternoon favor in the evening I'm about to pray for the sick. You are good, and we worship you. You are God, ah. and we worship you. Are good. You are. let me pray for the sick mm. please lay your hands wherever you are trusting God for a miracle I truly truly believe that someone will walk out of this place healed right where you are just lay your hands We know that you are a miracle worker, oh God. And we know that you are a healer, the healer. And over your people, oh God, with several sicknesses, infirmities, diseases, right now I stretch my hands upon everyone here. And I decree and declare the spirit that is back of infirmities in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I declare may that spirit get out of your body now out of your body now now please hear me this is what will happen we have just about five minutes or so I don't intend to stay longer than necessary but this is what I want to do I'm going to minister the life and the power of God to your body right now. I want you to believe in the power of Jesus to heal. You're standing in for someone, that's all right. You can stand in for someone. The moment I pray for you, we're going to have just about five minutes for this. The power of God touches you and there is a miracle. Some of you, whilst you were under the anointing, you've gone back and you've seen that there is a miracle. Wherever you are, as I pray for you and you receive a miracle please I want you to run out here whether here or here there will be some of the people who will guide you and will take a few testimonies to the glory of the name of the Lord before I do the final prophetic word together with Pastor Nat and we just speak and shift you by the Spirit of God to another dimension do you believe that please lay your hands now thank you Jesus as I pray for you, agree with me as you shout a loud Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
I decree and declare from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed right now in Jesus name every blood condition be healed right now in Jesus name every bone condition be healed right now in Jesus name deaf ears I command that you open right now in Jesus name blind eyes I command that you open right now in Jesus name anyone here with a heart problem in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you be healed in the name of Jesus diabetes the Lord is healing diabetes be healed right now in Jesus name now there is someone you don't walk for too long and you get tired you get tired easily you're a young person but you get tired as though an old person in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God is touching you right where you are right where you are right where you are there's someone you are having a problem not goiter but you are having you feel like there is something inside your throat the power of God is touching you right now this is what the Lord is revealing to me it's 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 very inconveniencing it's as though there's something that is hooking your throat I declare be released right now all kinds of lumps all kinds of manifestations of any swelling any growth in your body that was not so from the beginning I cause it right now in Jesus name The Lord is ministering to me. There's someone you have severe stomach pain. Severe stomach pain. You've tried to treat it. It looks like a simple issue, but it's terribly discomforting. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, be healed right now. Be healed. Help that lady, please. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I once saw this in a vision while I was ministering in a meeting somewhere now don't be embarrassed don't come out but I'll pray for you you are not a nursing mother but you are lactating that means that you are not you don't have a child but then you are producing milk and you are lactating I don't know who that person is but right now the Lord is revealing this to me I decree and declare your body returns back to normal function someone severe heat just under your feet you have severe heat like a burning and a tingling sensation you're not even able to stand for long I decree and declare may the power of God touch you right now may the power of God touch you right now some of you are standing in for friends and loved ones across whoever you are standing in for whether in the hospital or right here we release our faith right now and we declare let the healing power of Jesus touch them right where they are in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you have breathing problems sometimes it's, it's, as, it's as though your breath is skipping you are gasping for breath right now in the name of Jesus there will be instant relief by the power of the Holy Spirit I'm seeing someone you have severe pain just around your shoulder your shoulder area here like a very very discomforting pain but I'm praying for you right now even by the power of the Holy Spirit let that pain leave you right now now every other case mentioned or not in the name of Jesus when the kingdom comes it has a way of driving out everything that is Antichrist therefore we declare everything that does not name the name of Christ and is not consistent with the will of the Father as revealed in scripture let it live your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm going to ask you to check yourself very quickly we have a few minutes sir I'm going to pray for you please hold my hands don't be under pressure to throw away your your walker we're not we're not faking it here just take your time even if you don't feel strength to your limbs at the moment I want you to be strong because I see that it, it looks like one of the limbs is shorter than the other in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God 
I declare let there be perfection to your limbs right now in the name of Jesus perfection are you able to move with 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 this leg lift it up gently lift it up gently lift it up gently lift the other one can you lift the other one okay your, the balance huh? okay so take it easy I have prayed for you in the name of Jesus Christ let there be healing let there be recovery for you in Jesus name please keep him somewhere there and just check him just test him gradually don't force him to do anything that injures him hallelujah praise the name of the Lord now I want you to check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened in fact as I just said that I saw someone you have like a sprain at your back I want you to check it now you'll find out that there is no pain completely it is gone right now there's someone with pounding headache pounding very serious headache why are they here for prayer Victoria I can't even remember okay let me pray for you you are here anyway hold my hands in the name of Jesus Christ let it be a new season for you by the power of the Holy Spirit I release you to step into a new season of glory in the name of Jesus my dear I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead let it be a new season for you to experience the grace of God in the name of Jesus Christ now very quickly we have two minutes or so please I like you check yourself right now people are coming if you find out that a miracle has happened in your body quickly just come and stand here quickly just come and stand here are you celebrating them oh I see this is the best you can do You deserve the glory and the honor. Keep coming. Lord, we lift these hands in worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. And the honor. Lord, worship him. If you're coming, keep coming, keep coming to join them. You are great, you do miracles so just two three minutes and you'll be upstanding as we wrap up very quickly yes please praise the lord. is the mic working praise the lord i want to bless the name of the lord i've been having a sharp a strange sharp what's pain. your name my dear blessing blessing okay yes i've been having a sharp pain on my right arm and it has been for for, for like months now i don't know I don't and right know. now yes and lift now. it up check it any pain it's not there completely again. gone are you celebrating what the Lord is doing? In the name of Jesus Christ, He will never return to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please, go ahead. Praise God. I came to church. With a What's very your name, my dear? Omo. Okay. I came to church with a very bad pain on my waist. Pain on your waist? A very bad one. Okay. Yeah, very bad one. And I couldn't, um, during the service, I couldn't really stand. I was mostly sitting down. But when during the, the service, was, you couldn't stand? No, when the service was going on. Yes. And, and right now? Bend, can you bend? Any pain? Hallelujah. Come on, look at this. No one. Can I tell you this? There is there is absolutely there is no miracle, no matter how small or how great, that a man can bring by his strength. Every manifestation of the power of the Holy Spirit is the workings of Jesus in and through men. Give him praise for this. Jesus. Yes, please. Very quickly. Very quickly. 
straight to the point. Hi, my name is Tamara. I had um, a sharp pain on my shoulder blade and my breast, but it's gone now. Completely. Yeah. Check it. Any pain? Any pain? In the name of Jesus, it leaves you now and forever by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Yeah, good evening. My name is Kome. I've also had serious pains whenever I'm sleeping. The pain's gone. Pain completely. Yes. yes. Now it's gone. Yes. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you by the power of the Holy Spirit. When I prayed for favor, my dear, look at me, please. When I prayed for favor, I hope that you open your heart to receive because that grace, I'm seeing it on you. And the Lord is telling me that you are stepping into realms of favor. God bless you. Yes, please. My name is Obiano Ju. I was right there. I was having this pain all this while. The moment you said, um, there is this person that had a pain on her back. What happened it's to just you? Like, it, Completely. It checked, Check it yourself. It's gone. Completely. It's really gone. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you. Let's celebrate. My name is Emeka. Before you start the prayer, I've been having this pain at my spinal cord. You see what is happening to people? <laughs> just after the prayer, still just... Completely. Passed. Check yourself now. In the name of Jesus, perfected. Okay. Yes, please. For the past few days, I've been feeling something around my neck here. I know he's not going to but he's been giving me some pain. But the case was mentioned. Just, just help her. Hold on. Okay. And I thank God. And right now, check it. Any pain? It's gone completely. In the name of Jesus, I declare over you, it remains permanent for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Praise God. It was a serious headache when I came here. But I thank God. After the prayer, I cannot feel any headache again. Serious headache. In Jesus' name, may the Lord perfect you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hold on. Come again. My name is Chioma. I used to have this lump on my left breast. Lump yes. on your left breast? Yes. For how long? Since 2009. Since 2009? Yes, sir. Right now, what happened? I touched my oh my God. Look at this. No one else like you. For look, at, look at this. Look at this. Look the power of the Holy Spirit. Lump since 2009. That's a long time. Oh. Very long time. Just like that. The same way it happened to her some of you like a dream that is how what should not be there will get out of your life right now in the name of jesus christ god bless you my dear yes let's take a few more and then we're done i'm victor yes um, i was having this sharp pain my headache and sharp headache. pain and headache yeah on my kidney side because back then hospital they told me I have this um infection that has eaten to my kidney so every oh time you went to the hospital and they the said hospital door before. is it the mic help him i work in a hospital before. oh you work in a hospital so what was, did they say he said i have a sharp pain road um, infection eating to my kidney oh you and have an infection so it has eaten to my kidney so and the infection time, had eaten into your kidney yeah, who so told you that the doctor the doctor so they gave me some treatment though it was better and oh my god at times i do have this serious pain once it come i'm totally weak and right now what happened gone you are, you've been totally weak try to run ah Amen. My friend, listen to me. I truly believe with all my heart that whatever kidney issue it is, you don't want to have a kidney problem. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. You don't want to have a kidney problem. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands towards you. We agree as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Brand new kidneys. Right now. Brand Amen. new Amen. kidneys. Not just one that is healed. Amen. Brand new. Amen. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Yes, please. Go ahead. So I came in here with a pounding headache. And as soon as you said we should place our hands, I just put my head in the headache. Went. And it's gone oh. completely. It'll never return to you again in Jesus' name. Yes, madam? My name is Victoria. I've been having weak news for the past three years. When I had You've been having? Very weak news. Okay, weak knees. Yes, so I had to, um, need, I need a support to work. So when you came up and you were preaching for the past three years when I had my third child. So when you oh came up God. and you were teaching the, new, the thing, the weak knees. Completely. Yes, because... Most times, if I want to, when going up, I need a support. But now I can go up without a support. Oh, yes. you needed a support to yes. go up. Yes, yes. Walk, go. I can go up. 
Ah. See what the Lord has done. Come on, OSC, are Can you celebrating you see Jesus? What the Lord has done. Climb the stairs. Climb the stairs. What climb we the stairs. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come has on. come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Listen. Whatever is stopping you from climbing to the next level of your destiny, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Can the same way this woman could climb and go up, I declare rise to the next level of your life. Let's celebrate as she comes. Has come wow. to pass. See what the Lord has Look. done. In the name of Jesus Christ, perfection for you now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amazing. Amazing. Yes, please. My name is Lola. Um, I usually I usually have this um pain in my chest anytime I breathe deeply. And even I felt it while we're praying, but as we're praying, and um, I began to breathe deeply and I could not find the pain again. Breathing and out. In and out. Any pain? No pain at in all. In and out. No pain. Hmm. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you. Amen. Let's just have two or three more and then we're done. Please. Yes, go ahead. My name is Prosper. I like to know what happened to this boy. Yes. I always feel fatigued like an old man, but now I feel... You act like an old man. I always feel fatigued like an old man. Oh, you feel now... fatigued? Yeah. Okay. An old man, but now I feel relieved. Now. Relieved? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible says the glory of the young men is their strength. I decree and declare, even as you grow older, your natural strength will not be abated. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Oh dear. I can see people itching to share. How do we do this now? Go ahead. Good evening. My name is Shepard. And I had what happened to you, my friend? Um, I had a sharp pain on my jaw here. Oh dear. So if I want to swallow some things... Like I hear a something like a crack, but now it has gone. And yes, then... Jesus loves me. Yes, yes. Jesus. Jesus loves me. Oh, yeah. She's crying. Who is she to him? His mother? Oh dear. Oh, you know about this? <laughs> yes, because he. Please hold uh, on. Yes. He plays um football. Okay. So, um, Don't a cry. Particular club, UV Academy. Um, made to call him. Um, because they said he's good. Uh, what, what happened? Then what happened to him? So his leg, he started. He kept telling me that because of some things that have been happening around us, so and we've been walking for too long, so his legs started aching, and he would complain of here. And he, he could not complain. go. So even when he plays, they say he has good skills and good uh, what do you call it tactics. Yes. But what was the issue before now? He he just developed leg. Pain, as in look at me. me my dear son do you feel any pain there now look at me run let the devil see you run did you see how that boy just jumped across that step come on now look at me. look at this I want to pray for you he wants to do football or it's just it's his passion what do you want to do my 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 dear one i like to draw but i also want to do football you like to do what he's an artist he draws oh really so like... i want to pray for him no stand stand my dear one i want to pray father you have anointed us to bless i pray for your son use him mightily that here at the oasis this conference 2021 let this be a defining moment for him lord he will walk in accordance to your will 
and everything you have purposed for him, you will walk in it. What's his name? Shepherd, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord truly be your shepherd. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Yes, please. Very quickly, okay. My name is Samuel. For the past three months, I've been having pains on one side of my body, from here to two. One side of your body? Yes. Okay. What I'll happened I've been taking now? drugs and... It didn't drugs. work? Yes. Okay. But during the prayer now, I think that nothing is there again. I'm totally healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. You got married last year, even though it's just one year, but please don't be embarrassed. It looks like you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb and it's not worked and you've been having dreams it's like there is these dreams that connote oppression and molestation wherever you are the lord is asking me to pray and declare over your life that in the name of jesus according to the time of life whatever it is that embargo that is stopping you from being fruitful is fighting the will of god and therefore we decree right now and we declare even though it seems like a young marriage but we declare by the power of the holy spirit be delivered right now yeah. that next year oasis 2022 by this time you will not come alone yeah. in the name of jesus christ and for you my friend may the lord bless you please let that be the last one yes please yes madam go ahead my name is Bolanli. I've been having hold on please just wait let me pray and speak over you before you go don't worry let me speak over you yes please go ahead i've been having pains on my left side and also on my left shoulder blade personal has given me a few minutes to take their testimonies let's thank god for him let's just hear what god has done yes go ahead i've been having some pains my shoulder blade but while your shoulder pray, blade yes the left and side right now it's gone it's gone hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. with that same hand you will leave the blessing that the lord brings to your life amen. in the name of jesus christ amen. yes please very quickly let's just let's take advantage of the time few minutes straight to the point go ahead praise the lord my name is abimbola peters I was praying last night and I got a word of knowledge with your voice that drink from this ancient fountain. Today, you now ask uh, Prophet Pastor Nat to blow the shofar. That was the last thing I remembered. In fact, I'm struggling to even stand now. To stand right now. Yes. Can I still pray for you? Yes. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, since the Lord asks you to drink from this ancient fountain, may that grace rest on you and may you be mightily and marvelously used by God. Let that anointing rest upon you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, please. So my name is Ife. Uh, for some months now, I've been having the pain on my knee. Okay. Once I fold my knee back. Once you fold your knee, back, what happens? It's very painful. Okay. Extremely painful. And right now? So last week, I had to go and do an x-ray. But I didn't see anything. Okay. Last week, yes. Yes. But now, the pain has stopped. Check it. It has stopped. Any pain? I'm, I'm very sure it has stopped. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, it will never return by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Good evening. Good evening. My name is uh, Demaris Joy Karimu. I came here with my auntie. Okay. So when daddy said that there is a young person that is having leg pain, he cannot stand for a long of. So immediately I said, ah, good. So I asked my auntie, when daddy said that you can check yourself and... So sometimes the leg will even got swollen. As in, as and what, what happened now? I cannot feel anything. I can walk. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank walk. You. Assume God says you should go and collect your blessings. <laughs> can you see this? In the name of Jesus Christ, look at me, my dear. It will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Very quickly. Yeah, my name is Christian. I usually feel stomach pain, like chronic stomach pain since the past eight months. Okay. But then when we were praying for the sick, I felt my tummy vibrating. Your tummy stopped. was vibrating? Yes. And that was it? Yes. In the name of Jesus, he will never return to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Oh dear. Even though we're, we're, 
let's I think um, after please just stand but after this dark lady we may just stop so that we can yes this uh, yes so but I'm still going to pray and speak my apologies you can always testify tomorrow morning we'll have that time so that we can do the final impartation before we leave yes please go ahead my name is Sarah so you mentioned my case of the person that has been lactating without breastfeeding or being a mother I came believing that God will settle it and I believe that it is settled and I've also been having shoulder pains especially on this right shoulder but after the whole prophecy and everything I, I can't feel it anymore you see I don't know how it happens with women but I know that whatever should not be and is will always be inconveniencing is that true in the name of Jesus as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ we agree with you that you are perfected right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead you are perfected now perfected forever in Jesus name let's go ahead praise God I used to have this pain under my leg for like from Tuesday to today I've not been able to wear shoe even today I had to call my friend and tell her that I had to massage you to read so I just said stop only wash shoe today so when you now say somebody has it under the leg I just didn't believe she had, like but later, <laughs> I didn't even pray about it. So I just found out that the pain was no longer there. Even after five minutes, ten minutes, I said, let me just join the pain. Praise God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord perfect you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. My name is Raphael. For quite some time, I'll be having this shoulder. <laughs> this gentleman pain. held this bottle of oil here. <laughs> Bring it, let me hold it. Pain. name of Jesus Christ not to idolize it but may the Lord anoint it and let it be used as a supernatural medium for transmitting his power in Jesus name I pray yes go ahead you share your testimony now I've been having this shoulder pain but when you called shoulder I noticed that I could leave the hand are you seeing how many people have pains. shoulder do you know that Anymore, shoulder is prophetic of government so it's not just a miracle happening there is prophecy God is saying something because the government rests upon his yes go ahead I, could, I can't feel the pains anymore I can in the name them. of Jesus Christ that means whatever is fighting the establishment of the authority that the Lord has given you by this miracle let that resistance give way right now in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord bless you yes very quickly my name is Ngozi. I ate something yesterday and, I, and it's stuck in my throat. I've tried everything for it to go off, but it didn't. Then I just said, okay, Apostle is coming today. That this thing is not going back with me. So when I came and he, you mentioned my case, you said somebody that something you can feel is something stuck in your throat. And after the little what I came with, I've finished, it's almost finished and I can't feel the pain anymore. remarkable how God works my dear in the name of Jesus you should never fear eating eating is a blessing in Genesis we ate in revelations we ate they're still eating so don't don't let the devil not bully you these are some of the demonic things that we must cast out of people's lives in the name of Jesus let there be perfect healing perfect soundness for you no side effects be perfected right now in Jesus name I pray yes please my name is Kenny. I've had some pains like under my leg for like a couple of months. I did an X-ray and they said there was nothing wrong. But whenever I wake up, I always feel that pain. But today, after you prophesied that, you know, there's someone that has it, I just connected by faith and now I can't feel the pain again. Completely. For all of you, for you, my dear, the Lord perfect you right now in Jesus' name. And then for all of you, sadly, we couldn't give you the room to share your testimonies. But in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare that your healings and your miracles are permanent. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord honor you and increase you in Jesus' name. Let me do... I started sensing, just came in from Lagos. But right from the plane, I started sensing a very strong healing anointing. Very very strong healing anointing and then i just discerned that there were people the lord would want to touch i believe in miracles i believe 
in miracles. Praise the name of the Lord. I just want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. I want to pray for you right now. The power of God is touching people. We serve a living God. All over this place, the healing anointing is moving from my left to my right, from the front to the back, the balcony, all the overflows outside, following online. In the name of Jesus Christ, we release the healing power of Jesus. We release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Yahweh is here. We release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Yahweh is here. We cry holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua Shekinah. Yahweh, Yahweh. There's someone with pain around around your back area in the name of Jesus Christ the power of the Holy Ghost is touching you right now touching you right now someone just around the throat I don't know what it is it looks like a growth some inflammation there right now I stretch my hands towards you let there be a miracle in the name of Jesus There's someone you've been throwing up just vomiting. You're not particularly sick, but it looks like your body's reacting to something. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. The Lord is showing me 11 people. I'm seeing the number 11. The Lord wants to take away the manifestation of the spirit of death over that family. I want you to bring them out. 11 of them. The power of God is coming on them right now. In the name that is above all names, I declare by the spirit of the Christ. I stretch my hands. Bring them out. We minister life by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, they that have been appointed unto death, oh death, where is your victory? Oh grave, where is your victory? And oh death, where is your sting? Please bring them out. There's a reason why we ask that they come out. You'll be seated shortly, but we're praying. We administer the life and the power of the Spirit that every planting, every plague, Majesty. We are still praying. There are people representing families. Some of you, this is not just about you. He said, as for me and my house, it is always about you and your house. I prophesy again that any family here appointed unto death, whether in the air, whether by land, whether by sea, in the name of Jesus, the Christ of the living God, I decree and declare, and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their life been subject to bondage
There low him at night Thy kingdom come Thy will be done Hello, him out of night, thy kingdom come. Sing it as a prayer over my life. Hello, him out of night. Shriba la kata branda da suda bala. Hello, him out of night. Hello, him out of night. In the name of Jesus, for all of you who are out here, I declare by the Spirit of the Living God that every appointment with the grave, every spirit of the grave calling you, calling your loved ones, I use these ones in front as a point of contact to everyone hearing the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, we shut the gates of the grave. Shout a believing amen. We shut the gates of the grave. Veronica, Veronica, I'm hearing a name, Veronica, will be seated shortly. Veronica, I came tonight with my spirit fired up. Who is Veronica? The spirit of the Lord is ministering to me. Veronica, I just want to pray for you very quickly. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Madam, this woman, stand up please. Where are you coming from? I want to pray for you. Did you come alone? Hmm. I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Do you know why you came here? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you lying down inside a coffin. I have to pray for you. It is good to come to the house of God. Can I pray for you, ma? I stretch my hands towards you in the name of Jesus Christ who is the resurrection and even the life and I decree and declare every appointment with death now over you and your family I speak as one sent by the Lord God of heaven I declare it comes to an end now What's your name? Where are you from? I'm from Benway State. Stand, let me pray for you. Now, I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. I'm looking at a tree and I'm seeing a black band tied around a tree. What does this have to do with your destiny? We have to pray. This is not some negative prophecy. We are ministers of life. But then I'm just revealing to you to let you know that God is interested in you. I stretch my hands towards you. Mama, let me pray for her, Mama, just a moment. In the name of Jesus, Veronica, life right now. In the name of Jesus, blotting out every handwriting the Bible declares and every ordinance that spoke against us, that he nailed it to his cross. Therefore, I declare every appointment with failure, every appointment, every negative writing over your destiny. We curse it right now in Jesus' name. Your Veronica and you too. My dear, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! It's over in the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I want to pray for you. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus and I decree and declare cycles and patterns around your life. Cycles. I use her as a point to help her, please. I use her as a point of contact. Just hold her glasses so it's not destroyed. Cycles. Every reoccurring pattern over anyone's life here. Certain seasons. Strange occurrences seem to repeat themselves. In the name of Jesus Christ, the spirits behind them, we declare judgment now. Judgment now. Judgment. Judgment now.
Don't be tired though. We are praying. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Emeka? Emeka, I'm hearing a name. Emeka, I presume there may be a number of people. Emeka. Who is from Imo State? Emeka. Come. Hold on, I want to pray for you. Don't worry, you, you all came, I'll pray for you. What do you do, my friend? I'm an actor. Nollywood actor. Nollywood actor. Yes. Where is your wife? She's at the back. Come. please stand up i will restore to you the years that the canker worm has eaten the palmer worm has eaten in the name of jesus i'm speaking to you in the open by the power that raised christ from the dead by prophecy we shift you back to honor we shift you back to honor we shift you back to honor in the name of jesus christ we shift you back to honor by the power of the holy ghost shame reproach let it be far from you in the name of jesus christ the power of god is coming on one of you here one of these gentlemen will be seated shortly but let me just pray one of you i just saw fire just coming on one of you one of you who is standing here in the name that is above all names, I declare, please help them. Shalakato se de belekatia. Shalibrende tise heshke de balakata. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare right now, it burns every chaff. Sabakata kato se kete bala. In the name of Jesus, please open your mouth in one minute and pray. It's, 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 it's my season to rise and everything standing. Help them. Everything standing. Let it be cleared by the power that raised Christ from the dead. It's a season of lifting by the Spirit. The path of the just, the Bible declares, is as a shining light that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. Shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. Shines ever brighter. I contend to an ever brighter destiny in Christ. An ever brighter destiny. No better yesterdays. No better yesterdays. An ever brighter destiny. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Hallelujah. May God bless you, sir. What's your name? Are you from Imo State? Where are you from? Imo State. Come. What do you do, sir? I'm a medical sales representative in a pharmaceutical company. Come again. I'm, I'm not sure I got you. I'm a sales representative in a pharma company. Okay. I want to pray for you. Have you had a dream that you will own your own firm? Yes, yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man of God. Was I there? No, it's time for that dream to come to pass. <laughs> because I'm seeing that the Lord gave you a dream that you will also own your own medical firm. I pray for you. Believe what I'm saying? In the name that is above all names, the grace that makes for establishment. May that grace be released upon in the name of Jesus the Christ of God hmm. you are a Muslim but you were invited come don't feel embarrassed if there are no prejudices here the Lord is ministering to me let me just speak to that person you are a young lady no this one you are wearing even a black you are wearing something black like a nose mask on your nose right now with a veil who is that Come.
let the nations know that Jesus the same one has been exalted to be both Lord and Christ look what is happening to look what is happening to them my God wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that at the mention of that name every name will bow of things in heaven of things in the earth of things under the earth listen to me look up my dear ones this is not a religious place this is not a place for christians it's a place for everyone jesus died for everyone everyone jesus died for here's what the bible says for god so loved the world that he gave his now firstborn among we the begotten that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have life eternal the lord brought you here to bless you and i want to pray for you even before you hear the word i don't know you but in the name of jesus let her come leave her alone let her come yes lord yes lord you are the king there is none other yes lord yes lord yes lord yes lord yes lord you are the king there is none Let me encourage you here with love and every sense of responsibility if you're a minister of the gospel i pray that you will contend for the grace that validates the reality of the things you propose the times that we live in require a jesus whose love and whose power can should and must be demonstrated in the midst of his people a theoretical jesus will not go very far we must bring him to the scene. He says the kingdom of heaven is now within your reach. I bless you. My dear one, this one is under the anointing, but I bless you. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I pray for you because you have come here. This is a place of love. This is a place of the spirit. You will never return back the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are not here like second class citizens. No, we are before the king of all of us, all kings. I want you to be as comfortable as you can and enjoy the presence of God with no sense of fear whatsoever because this is also your house. I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please return back to your seat. And for every one of you here, you are blessed in the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Please return back rejoicing. Let's celebrate Jesus. hallelujah the second thing i want to do right now before we sit down strangely but it's good to be led of the spirit of god i want to make an altar call you are here you came to church the opening prayer was a message testimonies a message the worship song they were singing messages by now you should know whether you really need jesus or not i said before you life and death i said before you blessing and cursing but here is the advice coming from a heart of love that you choose life that you and your household may live in this place right now there are people who have never truly made a decision for jesus you've been at conferences you've been at meetings You've joined to cry. You've joined to clap. You've joined to celebrate people. Maybe they even hold cell fellowships in your house. That's not what makes for salvation. You're in the overflow right to the basement. You're outside. 
and some of you are watching by way of TV, the internet, and Jesus is calling you. You have a choice to reject him. It's a choice. We don't choose consequences. We make choices and the choices decide the consequences. But right now, I'm calling on someone who will be bold enough, strong enough to say, Apostle, I came for koinonia and I'm ready to win that war. I want to run to Jesus. As I count one to five, without any sense of shame, leave your seat and run like there's fire on the mountain. One. Two, come. Young and old alike, run to Jesus with understanding. Would you dance with me, oh lover of my soul? To the song of all songs. Keep coming. Would you dance with me, oh, of my soul, to the song of all songs? One more time. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Dance with me, oh, lover. Of my soul to the song of all songs. Whoever will come to him, the Bible declares that he will in no wise cast away. The global harvest is a responsibility that in life and in death we must commit ourselves to. Jesus is not the founder of a religion. That is better than every other religion that's an insult to him his life the way he declared the truth and his life some of you are standing and you're crying don't be ashamed of your tears he can always give you a new beginning regardless what has happened or not happened around your life and it's a joy and an honor to lead you even as we begin the teaching of the word he said, ye must be born again. You can stand here and not mean what you say and return back with nothing happening. But you can stand here determined, knowing that Jesus is here. For scripture declares that where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm in the midst of them. Lift your right hand to Jesus. Those are the basements, the overflows. Just lift your hand. And you who is following in your home your office following from your device you need jesus right there in the silence of your heart you can lift your hands to the lover of your soul i want you to say this after me from the depth of your heart jesus one more time say it say jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me I believe that you shed your blood for my sin I believe that you resurrected for my justification tonight I make you my Savior my Lord my King I receive the life of God into my spirit I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness help them please help them look the power of salvation the power of genuine salvation i declare we're praying repeat after me say i declare from today that i am saved i'm a child of god i go forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus father thank you for these ones they have come to you and the bible declares that as many who will come you will in no wise cast away now i commend you all to the ministry of the word i commend you to the ministry of the holy spirit 
I decree and declare that you will know him and he will turn you into signs he will turn you into wonders i declare that everything that represents a limitation in your life and your christian experience let it be rolled away the grace and the empowerment to live victoriously i impart upon you in the name of jesus who is both lord and christ amen and amen god bless you and a big congratulations to all of you i'd like you to follow a gentleman who is waving a placard at you those under the anointing just carry them gently please just follow him very quickly there'll be a group of people to walk with you and you'll be back to your seat god bless you hallelujah are we ready for tonight one prayer open my eyes oh god and grant me understanding please lift your voice and pray let's minimize distractions let's pray we're before the god of heaven The mysteries of the kingdom. Open my eyes, O oh God, even by the power of your spirit. A God of patterns, and that patterns are the predefined and authorized methodologies. We do not do spiritual things anyhow. In this kingdom, there are prescribed patterns that lead to specific spiritual outcomes. There is a pattern for salvation. There is a pattern for receiving the Holy Spirit. There is a pattern for prosperity in the kingdom. There is a pattern for restoration. There is a pattern for spiritual growth. Are we together? that all the possibilities in the kingdom are governed by spiritual patterns and that when we know these patterns and engage them with understanding then our lives can come into the fullness of the experience of the kingdom and the assignment of the teaching ministry is to unveil to open us up to these dimensions you see let me tell you something about the teaching ministry the way you teach in a conference or a convention it's not the same way you teach the people that God has sent to you when you are teaching in a conference for instance you're limited by time you have a day or two and so you are just compressing everything but once you are building people you must take the time to open them up to not just the awareness of those truths but the dynamics of their operation God's people must know how things work in the kingdom. This is why sometimes you see we break these teachings into series. Because there's no point rushing, just giving an information. We must be very methodical. Teaching in a way and manner that will hold those truths and handle them. And then command results from them. Hallelujah. And we began to examine... A few principles I call them the laws of the kingdom the mysteries Matthew 13 and verse 11 Jesus told us that this body of truth they are called mysteries or secrets they are not mysteries necessarily because they are hidden they are mysteries because they are privy only to the people in the kingdom for the natural man the bible declares cannot understand the things of the spirit why because they are spiritually discerned are we together we considered a few four of them i told you that in total there are nine of them that the lord revealed to me but um i think we'll just we'll just do seven and it will suffice for this series and even all of these seven they deserve to be isolated and dealt with specifically and i hope that in in other sessions of the world we'll have the time to deal with them number one we said was the law of complete surrender the first spiritual law 
that governs unusual dimensions of power and grace the law of complete surrender we saw this in the life of jesus we saw this in the life of jacob we saw this in the life of paul that in this kingdom the way we gain is by losing when we keep things we lose them the law of complete surrender i told you that this law vetoes your fasting your prayer your night vigils no matter what spiritual experience you're involved in and you're involved with if the state of your heart is not completely surrendered unto god it will negate any other thing you're involved with are we together number two the law of the mind or the law of mental transformation this is the second spiritual law that is responsible for undeniable results in the life of the saints that your life and the quality of your living will always be a reflection of your mindset your belief system this perhaps is the hardest of the journeys of many believers because it takes a long time to deconstruct many of them antagonistic to the ways of god and so when we come before the lord like this we have to trust him for grace for the transformation of our mind hallelujah the bible says philippians chapter 4 from verse 8 it says finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest just pure lovely of good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise it says think on these things philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 says let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus there was a superior belief system there was a mindset a set of beliefs that made jesus excel and so number three is the law of mastery and competence proverbs 18 and verse 16 the path of the just the bible declares i mean uh, the gift of a man makes room for him and brings him before great men the law of mastery and the law of competence this is quite an instructive one your relevance in this kingdom is based on your ability to serve your generation with the gift that god has given you the spiritual investment the intellectual investment upon your life when refined then you are able to serve your generation with it in it is your relevance in it is your satisfaction your fulfillment in it is your reward are we still together praise the name of the lord and we did say that being valuable or discovering your ability is not enough as powerful as it is to discover your ability just having potentials is not enough potential means what can be what should be but what is not yet it takes refining it so that you become very productive and i told us that the kingdom operates on a reward system you know you are valuable when you look back and find someone following you you must be desirable enough someone must be able to unashamedly place a demand upon your gift and upon your value if no one is following you you are not valuable it's as honest and as simple as that praise the name of the lord then number four the law of faith the law of faith are we still together the fourth spiritual law the law of faith numbers 23 19 god is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent i told you god became a man but he is not a man god is not a man he became a man faith is your conviction and then your corresponding obedience your action of obedience you can act but if in disobedience you are not manifesting faith many people act but they act in disobedience the dynamics of faith we explained is in romans chapter 4 from verse 18 down to 21 abraham were told to look at as a reference the bible recommends him as the biblical reference as far as the journey of faith is concerned so we consider this four we'll look at three more today 
and then we'll pray please pay attention pay attention in the name of jesus christ three of these spiritual laws that are responsible for our excelling in the kingdom by the way let me say this you must realize that for us kingdom people everything we learn and everything we know is connected to kingdom come our prosperity <clears throat> excuse me our prosperity our lifting everything we teach is not isolated from kingdom the reason why we desire to prosper is so that jesus be revealed jesus be glorified the reason why we desire that all of the forces the arsenals of darkness that plague believers that they are out of our lives is to the end that jesus be revealed jesus be glorified anything that is not connected to kingdom come no matter how accurate it is cannot find its true relevance in the kingdom are we together praise the name of the lord now in this part three we want to deal with three laws number one for this series is the law of relationships pay attention someone is about to prosper god wants to hand you a key that will change your life forever the law of relationships the command be fruitful means be relational because everything it advances increases and multiplies on the basis of relationship again everything advances increases and multiplies on the basis of relationships relationships are advantageous connections please write it down relationships are advantageous connections just because someone is in close proximity to you does not mean you are in a relationship for instance an armed robber and his victim an armed robber is close to a victim but they are not in a relationship are we together yes because it's not advantageous so relationships are advantageous connections the easiest way to succeed in life is through relationships people of god this is true absolutely true that the easiest way to rise the easiest way to excel in life is through relationships and lot went with him god called abraham he did not call lot the bible records and lot went with him and as a result he began to excel he began to do well very powerful relationships are currencies currencies they can purchase things and bring them into the life of individuals this is true like dollar like naira like pounds like euros relationships are currencies more superior currencies they can purchase things and they can bring it into the lives of individuals the same way you can take a million naira for instance and go and buy say a tv set the same way you can take say 10 million 40 million 100 million and you buy a very beautiful vehicle or you buy a house you can take relationships like money and go and buy things and return back and your receipt will be right paid for by relationships this is very powerful relationships are currencies they can purchase things into our lives three scriptures very quickly amos chapter 3 and verse 3 will hurry up so that we'll do justice to the other two amos chapter 3 and verse 3 can two work together can two people can two companies can a couple can a business can two work together except they be agreed it's a question proverbs chapter 18 and verse 24 very quickly please apologize i'm i'm just hurrying up so that we can cover a bit tonight proverbs 18 and verse 24 let's read together if you can see it projected ready one to read a man that hath friends uh-huh must show himself friendly 
and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother so the bible says that he who desires friends must first show that seed of friendliness this immediately explains why many of us do not have friends immediately more than demonic attacks and more than these other auxiliary problems here is the diagnosis from scripture that it could be that you have not demonstrated friendliness enough for someone to invest his life in your life he that wants friends must first show himself friendly are you learning something already write this down please Tie it if you can. If you're using your note, you want to just put something there. Relationships do not maintain themselves. Very good news. Relationships do not maintain themselves. The parties involved must commit to maintaining it. This for many of us will come as a revelation. Relationships do not maintain themselves. Your relationship with God your relationship with the holy spirit in fact even your relationship god forbid but even an individual's relationship with demons they don't maintain themselves the parties involved must commit to maintaining it that means if a spirit refuses to leave you something about your life is demonstrating friendliness are we together to that spirit there is something about your understanding and your habitation that makes that spirit miss you so much it does not want to leave because according to the law of relationships the moment there is an unfriendly environment there is a separation so whatever it is that makes a spirit refuse to leave you refuse to leave your habitation it calls for check the bible says when a spirit leaves a man it leaves that man and goes to a desert the desert becomes so unfriendly to that spirit it will prefer to go back and pay the price and renegotiate friendship with you and this time it will not come alone it will gather seven other spirits the bible says greater than itself relationships do not maintain themselves the parties involved must commit to maintaining it your relationship with the holy spirit as a case study it will not maintain itself no the holy ghost is committed to you but you must also be committed to spiritual things in order to strengthen and to improve that relationship are we blessed very quickly i thought it was um i thought it was good to just share a few things about this now there are three basic kinds of relationship according to scripture and psychologists will tell us that there are three basic kinds of relationships number one please note there are general relationships you meet with everyone every day on the road passing in the office at home there are general relationships number two there are seasonal relationships for instance you have a classmate and whilst you are in school that relationship can last you have a short course and you have colleagues seasonal relationships and then number three there are destiny or covenant relationships the degree of investments that you put in them will not be the same are we together yes very quickly i wrote here seven keys to maintaining relationships all relationships but for for the purpose of this teaching maybe we would want to zoom it down to destiny relationships very quickly i'll just run through them number one the first key to maintaining quality relationships is that you must be willing to be selfless you must be willing to be selfless please do not trivialize what you are learning tonight it is not basic at all it controls profound results in the kingdom my definition of love is the absence of self no matter what parameter you use the most accurate measure of love is the presence 
or the absence of self the degree to which self exists is the degree to which love is absent the degree to which love exists is the degree to which self is absent are we together jesus demonstrated perfect love because he gave everything perfect selflessness equals perfect love partial selflessness equals partial love are we blessed you must be committed to be selfless the world that we live in today is a very parasitic world unfortunately in as much as relationships must be advantageous and must be beneficial but you see your frustration begins right from the onset of a relationship when your motive is to use an individual a company to use god to get something are we together now there are business people there are men and women of god there are even family people all they are concerned about is they first discern what can i get from you for as long as there is something to get i'm available but the day i cannot get anything from your company or your ministry that's it no you want quality relationships the first key to maintaining relationships is a willingness to be selfless being selfless does not mean you are foolish you will not be cheated no is a proof of love number two very quickly the second key is avoid competitive jealousy the second key avoid competitive jealousy proverbs 14 and verse 30 proverbs 27 and verse 4 just write it down for reference we'll deal with it hopefully when we're dealing with um it says a sound heart is the life of the flesh but envy the rottenness of the bones envy has an effect that affects you eventually medically avoid competitive jealousy this is why they are called covenants now let me tell you something there are three there are three levels of perceiving things the highest is discernment followed by reason then emotions discernment reasoning emotions emotions is based on your your feeling this is the weakest is the weakest um form of perception emotions because they vacillate i can be happy now and sad tomorrow are we in agreement then reasoning reasoning you are tied to logic and principles so there is some form of stability but the highest is discernment and discernment is what really produces covenant covenant is the strongest dimension of relationship because it is bound by an oath that is non-emotional are you getting what i'm saying now yes emotions vacillate when i'm happy i act this way when i'm angry i act this way that's emotions reason here and there you can try to put a lot of philosophy and if it adds up then you move if it doesn't then you but covenant relationships are powerful this is one of the secrets of the jews this is one of the secrets of non-christians they are people who are bound by covenant are we together yes believers largely operate their their perception is largely emotional wow this is wonderful you bought me this tomorrow is gone wow this is wonderful you gave me a job tomorrow it is done but covenant produces consistency the only way to conquer your emotional vacillations is to rise to the realm of covenant covenant gives the parties involved in the relationship security because they are aware that it's not about what they do or don't do you are bound by an oath we stand together we die together so the fear of trying to be excessively formal is no longer there jewish relationships till date operate by covenant are we blessed 
so avoid competitive jealousy and the cure is covenant you bind yourself to rejoice at the rising and the well-being of everyone whether it's a company whether it's a business you are a man of god you are in a covenant relationship with another man of god you bind yourself with a covenant that i will never i will fight any trace of jealousy whatsoever i commit myself to celebrating everyone around me who rises are we blessed avoid competitive jealousy jealousy has nothing to do with being good or bad It's the side effect of being human you have to understand jealousy is the natural consequence of someone who gets ahead of you and is excelling generally the temptation is that there will be something in you that tries to make you feel lazy make you feel like you are not making progress are we together so it is a natural response but you can fight it with revelation as mighty as god is he did not wait for us to be great before he gave us his life he took the risk right from a sinner you're a benefactor of divine life immediately what level of self-confidence are we blessed avoid competitive jealousy number three avoid backbiting and evil speaking these are basic things but just to let us know evil speaking evil speaking evil speaking titus chapter 3 and verse 2 just write for reference proverbs chapter 6 from verse 16 to 19 titus 3 and verse 2 says to speak evil of no man and to be no brawlers but gentle showing all meekness unto all men to speak evil of no man number four very quickly avoid offense this is a very serious one you want to maintain destiny relationships avoid offense offense is the ease with which you get irritated angry or resentful the ease with which you get irritated angry or resentful first corinthians 13 and verse 5 gives us a warning that the character of true love is not easily offended the ease with which you get irritated angry and resentful please look up there is no such thing like we are born like that that's how all of us are no that's how familiar spirits have kept the family for a long time and there can be deliverance are we together there is no such thing as we are like that i'm like that or i'm born again but when i get angry even god steps back until i calm down it's not a testimony yes we can start the way we are listen carefully we can start the way we are but we must trust god to grow into a level of maturity through knowledge through understanding are we blessed avoid offense say in the name of jesus i avoid offense number five practice forgiveness and tolerance practice forgiveness and tolerance for reference please write these scriptures down very quickly mark 11 and verse 25 mark 11 and verse 25 the bible says and when you stand praying forgive if ye have ought against any that your heavenly father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses very instructive ephesians chapter 4 and verse 32 ephesians 4 and verse 32 the bible says be kind to one another tender-hearted forgiving one another even as god for christ's sake had forgiven you for christ's sake had forgiven you this is very powerful the difference between forgiveness and tolerance or forbearance please look up i'm already laughing at myself the difference forgiveness has to do with trespassing forbearance has to do with accommodating that limitation knowing it will happen again are you seeing the difference now many of you can only forgive you cannot forbear you need both if you want to survive to this world you need both forgiveness and forbearance forbearance means you factor in that limitation 
and you know it will happen again respectfully maybe a man shouts at his wife and says sorry it will not happen again the wife should know it's a joke it will happen again you don't need forgiveness don't say i forgive you no you are wrong what you need is what forbearance there are many reasons why it will happen forbearance and forgiveness if you only know how to forgive you'll be in trouble because you will be tied to a fellow staff who will annoy you every day can i tell you this the moment you wake up in the morning just know that this day that the lord has made is full of many things and you have to prepare your heart in advance just when you're driving to the office someone comes and just tries to meander in a way that almost hits you and then insults you still do you need forgiveness no don't say i forgive you just when you are done with that one someone else will come you need forbearance you factor it that human beings are in, at different levels they have chosen to make themselves so and since i'm coexisting with them i factor it in my heart that this no longer surprises me say amen practice forgiveness and tolerance or forbearance number six the sixth way we maintain relationship is very instructive please listen be a contributor to the growth of the other party you must be a contributor to the growth of other uh, the other party in as much as we started by speaking about being selfless selflessness cannot be one-sided it is both ways are we together acts chapter 20 and verse 35 says it is more blessed to give than to receive it is more blessed to give than to receive there is no relationship that truly has a future when it is one-sided as far as contribution is concerned whether it's a spouse companies friends ministerial relationships it has to be two ways and let me tell you this money is the least way to contribute to a relationship you will be surprised but this is true money is not everything there are many things that don't need money are we together yes be a contributor to the growth of the other party Pray for your business partner it is difficult to criticize anybody you pray for the cure for a critical spirit is a genuine heart that prays father lift this man of God bless this woman of God bless this CEO bless my wife bless my husband and you contribute to their growth It's children that always ask, what did you buy for me? As soon as you are arriving, they are running around. They don't care what has happened. What did you buy for me? Many of us still have that attitude. And we take that same attitude to God. Father, we thank you. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, the this and that. And God says, what, what are you here for? Just ask, just leave all those preambles. I know that you are not here for anything. And he said, God, I've been talking to you about this. Are you not seeing I'm, I'm living in Abuja? Are we blessed think how beautiful a relationship is when the parties involved are aware that they become eternally committed to contributing to the growth and the well-being of one another that's how it works you're a business partner with five other people you've never done anything good you've not suggested anything right you've not even brought a man of God to pray for the business look at jonah you see that kind of relationship jonah was in the boat what happened he was sleeping while the people were dying they were throwing their things he would have just gotten up to say listen let me save you this loss i am the reason he kept quiet until they casted lots and they found him jonah why did you allow people have to lose so much he was sleeping at least jesus was also sleeping but when he woke up 
he said no 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 it's not a parasitic relationship now step back peace be still they benefited from it are we together I don't want us to joke so much there are many serious things to say so I'm not going to give any examples <laughs> but it's interesting we live in a very interesting world there are people who have a way of discerning when you have prepared your meal you know that and here they come glory be to God Calvary greetings peace be unto this house and so on and so forth Please help the needy. Please help the needy. Understand what I'm saying. But you see, the moment you become a receiver, a receiver alone, a receiver alone, a receiver alone, sooner or later you will find out that there is nobody around you again. Nobody receives a Nobel Prize for receiving. You receive a Nobel Prize for your contribution. Is that true? make up your mind from this teaching tonight look for all the people who have significantly blessed you you must find something in their life that you can do you can pray for them everybody has a need everybody has a desire it does not have to be monetary someone has been paying your school fees for three years four years make up your mind that one day you go and wash his car whether he allows you or not carry the bucket in advance and say sir i i know that you don't have a need i love david you see why david is a man after god's heart david sat down one day and said lord i know you are seated in heaven heaven is your throne the earth is your footstool you do not need any house but how can i be here and not have a house for my god i will arise and build you a house and god was listening and he said this man what do i now do with you he said well your hands have shed blood i can't allow you build he said no problem i will gather the raw materials and my son solomon will build it the man after god's heart not even abraham was called a man after god's heart this is a powerful secret could that be why your destiny helper stop picking your calls because every time we'll talk a bit on destiny helpers every time you, you just call them. They know that the greeting is just a preamble. Let me tell you something with human beings. The kindest of men is not foolish. Nobody will indefinitely continue to invest in lives that do not have any discernment to at least participate. God, you keep blessing me. I'm breathing, I'm happy, I'm doing all these things. There has to be something that brings you joy. And so your assignment to find is to find out what pleases the Father. I, can, I may not be able to do everything, but I must find something that brings joy to the Father. If it's souls, if it's service in the house of God, there has to be something that directly supports kingdom come. Hallelujah. This is my beloved son. In whom I am well pleased there are other beloved sons but he is not well pleased be a contributor to the growth of the other party one of our dear ladies was walking one time in the bank and I gave her an advice I said you package wine and go and meet your boss just ask for permission step into his office and he will usually be serious that's work hour and greet him just tell him sir i'm here to say thank you thank you for believing in me thank you for the time you've taken to train me thank you for all that you've invested in me i want you to know that it's not been in vain this is a token of my honor and my appreciation let me tell you what he will do he will act like you just made noise he will say go It's when you shut that door he will sit down and say i've gotten my next executive director whereas someone is shouting and binding and jumping up and down and rolling and doors will never open because these are the mysteries of the kingdom relationships are powerful there are people today who are occupying electoral positions not because they necessarily have the capacity to the degree that should warrant them sitting there 
certain relationships i remember you did something for me in 1991 now that god has brought me in this position i would not leave you hungry it's powerful to invest in people so think whilst you are seated and listening to me what may be the reason why helpers of your destiny would come and then leave it could be that you are focused on what i will get my uncle just arrived his car is dirty no one can have the wisdom to wash it he's hungry no one gave him a meal and yet everybody is sitting down and gossiping now he's about to go let's see how much he will give then the man just walks away then you curse and curse and say god these are the people that we are praying no and i will not be silent i will always you are contributing to his joy for as long as i am breathing i will always so you practice this use it for any relationship and watch how things begin to change how their perception begins to change towards you are we learning now very quickly let me chip in the ministry of destiny help us we have to learn a bit still under the law of relationships this is one of the very solid mini mysteries that the lord gave me my life has changed as a result of this and I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that for as many who are listening, that as you learn these principles and apply them, may your life change like night and day. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please write this down as a subtopic still under the law of relationships. The irrefutable ministry of destiny help us. Mark chapter 2, please, very quickly for reference. Mark chapter 2, we'll start from verse 1. Mark chapter 2 and verse 1. The Bible says, and again he entered into Capernaum after some days, and it was noise that he was in the house. Follow carefully, verse 2. And straightway many were gathered together, in so much that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much about the door. And he preached the word unto them. So a crusade is happening here now. And then the Bible says, and they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy which was born of four that means he was carried by four men a man who was sick paralyzed but he was carried by four men look at this and when they could not come nigh unto him jesus now for the press they uncovered the roof where he was and when they had broken it up they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay the full text is from verse 1 to 12 watch this can you imagine the level of determination they said jesus is in town and four men came together they said mr man you are crippled you cannot walk but we insist you must receive your miracle the bible says they took him they if they had dropped him there they would have tried this brings me to the definition of destiny helpers please write who are they who are this group of people called destiny helpers destiny helpers are men and women equipped empowered ordained and assigned by god again men and women equipped empowered ordained and assigned by god to help you fulfill your destiny and to take you to the next level in life men and women equipped empowered ordained and assigned by god to help you fulfill your destiny and to take you to the next level powerful destiny helpers they are not just freelance helpers they are men ordained please listen 
men equipped empowered ordained and assigned by god to help you fulfill your destiny and to take you to the next level i've said it here and i will repeat it is true that it is god that blesses it is god that lifts but god blesses men through men all blessings come from god through men to men your promotion comes from god through men to men the open doors from god through men to men the restoration from god through men to men it is god that lifts but he uses men now according to scripture there are four types of destiny helpers and in the name of jesus i pray that your life will experience all four and i pray that god will make you all four in the name of jesus are you ready please walk with me very quickly number one for the sake of time divine connectors the first kind and the first type of destiny helpers are called divine connectors you find that in second kings chapter five I may not read it for reference just right the story of naaman and the little slave girl the bible says there was a man who was the captain of the syrian army the bible says he was a valiant man in war but he was a leper and then one time when they brought the slaves from war there was a little slave girl who served his wife and one day she said oh that my lord would go down there is a prophet here and there and then one thing led to the other cut the long story short after a few chapters we find that naaman is now completely whole divine connectors do not have the power to help you directly but they can lead you to those who have what it takes to help you now you have to understand this divine connectors may not have the ability in themselves to help you they may not be able to pray for you to be healed they may not be able to give you a job but they have the power to connect you somebody know somebody know somebody who god can use to lift you the key to receiving from divine connectors is meekness and discernment because they will always come in forms that may not be desirable a divine connector respectfully speaking may be a bus conductor he may just hand you a little advert of a crusade happening and you are just looking at the boy and laughing he may not even know what he gave you suddenly you find out that a man of god is coming to town and you remember my mother is dying in the hospital that divine connector lets you know that a crusade is happening you take mama to that crusade ground that becomes not only her miracle but the transformation of the whole family now we live in a world that prides around packaging we should be excellent but we live in a world where the moment you don't have a persona and a form that seems to look like you are succeeding people can demean you this is why many people keep passing their divine helpers every day because they are looking for people who carry the persona sometimes it may not be so your divine helper can be your your divine connector can be your child speaking nonsense every day but one day the holy ghost will speak through him and that one counsel will be what will save you there are businesses today under pressure there are ministries under pressure and in the midst of all that there are divine helpers divine connectors every day moving left right and center is god helping us that's why we must be discerning as we deal with people don't demean people you may be throwing away the next 10 years of your life four men came and held that man and said you must see Jesus do you know that some of the greatest evangelist pastors around the globe 
some of the people who got them born again are still alive but nobody knows about them but if they did not save those people or lead those people to a place where God would touch them we would not hear of them today please discern divine connectors that every day of your life I assure you there's someone God is bringing to your life to your office now I know this is a very sensitive um, a very sensitive discussion because we live in evil times there are some of you who have tried to reach out to evil people and paid the price as a result they would come and carry a form of meekness and some of them are terrorists some of them are evil people may God separate them from your life in Jesus name many armed robbers have come like beggars they came and pleaded and said please can I you give me food to eat while you just want to help them so we need sensitivity that's why I said you need discernment but I tell you this divine connectors are real somebody knows somebody who knows somebody who has what you are praying for the answer to your prayer has left heaven is with men are we blessed number two the second kind or type of destiny helpers that we need they are called men of access and influence it's good to have divine connectors but sometimes you need the people who have the resources the credibility the track record directly men of access and influence who are they these are men who through the sacrifice their sacrifice and their diligence they have become captains of industry they have become gatekeepers to realms they have the credibility they have the endorsement they have the goodwill of people let me tell you this in this kingdom one of the ways that God favors us and advances us is through the endorsement, the good speaking of credible people. There are times that you have the grace, you have the certificate, you can take the contract, but you do not have what it takes to stand at the gate. Yet, you will need someone who is already at the gate to speak for you. Joseph could interpret dreams, but he needed someone who could stand and speak for him. In this case, you need men and women who have paid the price. Can I tell you this? It is the absence of this in our lives. That's why many gifted people remain grounded. Are we together? There are many powerful worshippers in this nation. There are many powerful men of God in this nation. There are many powerful potential CEOs. But the gatekeepers have not seen you enough. To extend the right hand of fellowship please hear what I'm saying one man of influence can use his influence and credibility just sign behind his card please help this man signed so 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 and so that's it and while you are there speaking English they tell you please go away I'm helping you not because of what you are saying this man helped me so 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 time <laughs> a very a very a very interesting discussion back then in zaria there was a very interesting story the former emir i was told that one time someone wanted to go to nda the nigerian defense academy now and then for some reason he did not meet the height requirement so he, he was disqualified and someone went to meet the emir and said look this man we want him to become a soldier and now he's been disqualified and the emir said they should go and tell the commandants that the emir has added his height that's a powerful revelation i've increased your height to the requirements they want you know what that means to the person who uh, ah may god bring a man of influence your life in the name of jesus christ let me tell you this difficult things become very easy when credible people speak for you everybody respects somebody help this person that's it 
oh my daughter has been looking for a job my son has been looking for a job really why didn't you tell me okay you come that's it please do not undermine the power of people's credibility and track record there are people who have spent years establishing their track record around industries around businesses even in ministry one genuine endorsement from a credible person can end hardship completely from your life are we blessed men of access and influence number three the third kind of destiny helper still discussing the law of relationships they are called gifted people gifted people sometimes you just need skillful and talented people men and women who will use their gifts their talents and their skill to help you accomplish god's purpose first samuel chapter 16 please from verse 17 to 21 men who will use their gifts their skills their talents to help you accomplish your divine purpose we're reading to verse 21 now look at this please the bible says and saul said unto his servants provide me now a man that can play well some versions say can play skillfully and bring him to me 18 then answered one of the servants and said behold i have seen a son of jesse the bethlehemite that is cunning in playing and a mighty valiant man and a man of war and prudent in matters and a comely person what a description and the bible says and the lord is with him 19 wherefore saul sent messengers unto jesse and said send me david thy son which is with the sheep 20 and jesse took the ass laden with bread and a bottle of wine and a kid and send them by david his son unto saul last verse and david came to saul and stood before him and he loved him greatly and he became his armor bearer the lifting power of skill before you pray that god will bring great people to you please do well to work on yourself so that shame and reproach will be far from you so that when you step into the corridors of greatness you will not be sent back in shame praying that god will bring great people to you without refining your gifts will only recycle pain and recycle unpleasant seasons in your life are we together sharpen your gifts sharpen your skill now you can pray father i've done my homework i've taken advantage of your grace i've engaged myself meaningfully now let the helpers come when they come and place a demand you're trusting god for a contract for instance millions billions do your work well so that the day they call you they will call you and say prove yourself and in 10 minutes they say you are the one we're looking for come can i tell you this excellence and competence is a language there are people who can speak it and there are people who understand it many of us are mediocre in many ways i say this with every sense of responsibility the goal is to challenge us in africa especially we the generation of young people god is helping us we have zeal but we we the ability to stay and become skillful There are great companies today having turnovers in billions of dollars and some of them do not have up to 20 staff. They don't have a staff strength of up to 20, but one of their staff can be equal to 100 others. Skillful and gifted people. I'm telling you, it's one of the blessings that God has given in this ministry. The gift of gifted people. The kinds of minds, the levels of intelligence, intellectual infrastructure, that in this is in this ministry is amazing it's easy to credit every result to me but you will be surprised to know that my work is largely oversight there are intelligent people that god has blessed me with you are a ceo you're a leader of all sorts please go to god and cry send me genuine people send me gifted people one gifted person can take your company to heights unimagined one gifted person can take your church your ministry to heights unimagined are we together gifted people skilled people number four very quickly 
the last kind or type of destiny helpers we need they are called burden bearers burden bearers these are trusted and faithful people who will stay with you through storms will stay with you through challenges until your glory is revealed there are times in your life where you need men and women who stay they stay through the rain they stay through the storms they pray with you they fast with you many companies today who have raised people blessed people the moment the companies go through any kind of unpleasant season everybody just runs away and leaves them let me tell you this woe betides a man who looks left and right in your days and your times of storm and will not find at least one person standing by you the world is full of psychophants but there are genuine people there are genuine people who love you sincerely my first prayer is may you be one of such and then may you receive the ministry of such don't just pray for burden bearers until you are prepared to be one burden bearers are not looking for your crown they are looking for the cross where is the cross you cannot carry so let's take it together burden bearers are not those who stand with you they are those who die with you when jesus was hanging on that cross ladies and gentlemen this 33 year old gentleman who had turned the world upside down where were the five thousand aside men and children who ate his bread and his fish where was the woman with the issue of blood jesus is on his way to golgotha and not one of them was there to say jesus if they are killing you they should kill me only john and his mother certain men came to david in the cave of adulam when he was running away from saul and the bible says they bound themselves with an oath that they will not rest until they make him king you come and meet a man hiding is that the kind of leader you want and they said we'll stay with you till you win till you thrive till you rise and you will rule over us burden bearers every church needs genuine burden bearers every man of god needs genuine burden bearers every businessman ceo needs genuine burden bearers there are people today who are bereaved and you would be surprised to know that most of the people they raised and lifted would not have the courtesy to say i remember in 1991 you were there for me no there are many politicians today who are not in government in truth when some of them were in power they helped many people they lifted many people but now that it looks like there's no political prospect again many people leave oh what a shame listen you must be able to trust someone enough with your life and say no matter what it is we're standing here we're not standing to win we're standing by covenant are we together yes burden bearers when jesus was on his way to golgotha he turned bleeding and he did not see anyone and there was a gentleman called simon of cyrene he said i will carry that cross with you and he carried the cross down to golgotha it's my prayer that you will find someone in your life who can call you and say now that your dad is gone now that your mom is gone how have you been faring and you're saying my god he says every month i will call at least once to find out that you are doing well and first you suspect because human beings are selfish and he said no 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 strings attached i made up my mind Bazanji kunya ba Listen some of you whilst you are seated here listening to me especially some of you that God has helped to be senior executives or you are leaders in some sort what I'm saying now is is getting to you because I'm bringing memories you are now remembering it is true 
the company folded up and everybody went away things began to happen your health began to deteriorate and all the people who would come oh you are king of kings you are lord of lords but i can tell you one thing i have learned this by experience i have learned this through mentorship and i have learned this through scripture there are real burden bearers you don't generalize and think everyone is a psychophant everyone is fake there are people who will cry with you there are people who will pray with you you will say go and they say to where an example of such people was ruth to naomi your god will be my god your people will be my people as a result she married boaz are we blessed tonight divine connectors connecting you to those who can help you men of influence and access using their credibility to endorse you gifted people making things happen within your organization your ministry your life helping kingdom come happen for you and then burden bearers those ones may not move you forward but they stop you from going back while others are standing in front of you clapping for you they are the ones who pray for you when you do not know they pray they fast for you when you are not seeing them some of them do not even know you but they stand to pray are you okay now please don't feel bad i respond to an average of six to seven hundred text messages every day and most of them are full of people who have needs and i'm sent to them but every once in a while in the maze of the many text messages with the needs please i'm not putting you under pressure to do it not at all you would find someone who just says apostle how are you i'm not calling for prayer i just want to find out are you okay you've been busy you've been traveling around and i may not even know them but i look at those text messages and i bless them from my heart for being so thoughtful because sometimes you see when god sends you people forget that you are a man you are only of god a father of faith in enugu called me into his office and he said apostle let me tell you something africans kill their prophets be careful there are many of you who are insulting your parents insulting your loved ones insulting your ceo do you know why he's been behaving this way maybe he's had losses maybe he's lost his loved ones maybe his marriage is tearing apart people may not tell you what they are going through but you must give room and give allowance there must be a reason in any case let us pray let us pray i don't know why my husband has been acting up like this he may not tell you great men don't just open up carelessly it's not weakness they have been trained to be strong they are storm riders so they keep quiet even while they are dying why are you not eating this food my husband i don't have the appetite there is the war on his head it's out of love he will not tell you it's not like he's hiding things from you And then you go and pray and say lord i don't know what may be happening to my husband but when i came into his life i did not just come as a wife i also came as a priest now i remove that regale of wifehood i put my robe as a priest lord protect this man lord bless him i may not know what may be happening and battles victories victories upon victories hallelujah joseph was a burden bearer before an interpreter of dreams he looked at the countenance of people in the prison he would have said young people we are here for a long time you better smile but he looked at them he said no something is wrong with your countenance even though i am a prisoner i am concerned what may be the problem then they said their dreams
Burden bearers. It's been seven years and you do not have a child. And everyone is saying you must confess. How you got married we must get to know now. And someone comes to you and says I don't want to know what the doctor said. I will hold your hand and we will die here until we see the promises of God come. And whilst you are sleeping a scripture comes. They send you a scripture by text. He keeps them in perfect peace. And that's just the scripture you need. Listen to me. Don't just pray that God will send them. Be the them first. Lord make me a burden bearer. There has to be somebody in your life. That you are able to stand with. And say I'm standing with you. A great politician in this nation lost election when he lost election more than 90 percent of all his calls and relationships vanished within hours including people who were praising him 24 hours before all gone it's painful to look around and not find where are they where are those who ate your bread where are those who said you are king over us there are parents today who are in pain because they look at their children and they find out that in old age, having spent time, spent resources raising them, in old age, unable to move, bound to a wheelchair, these children push them around. And mama looks and says, do you know what I went through to give birth to you? And they speak all kinds of English and push them away. The blessing of one who is in pain is a real blessing because he has nothing to protect. Let me give you an advice. When someone who is in pain blesses you, it comes from the depth of their prophetic construction because they've cried in, they've cried away every hypocrisy. They've cried away every stage management. I've had the honor and the privilege to cry with a few people. And it was such a blessing that God granted me grace to be there for them. Relationships. You cry with someone today. Tomorrow God lifts that person and he looks at you. And says I remember. Are you not so 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 and so? Thank you for standing by me. In 2000 I thought I would not make it. Because I lost my father, my mother. Thank you. After two years, you were still checking up on me. What do you do now? Things are going bad. Do you have a house? No. Come and collect the keys to a brand new house tomorrow. And people say you are lucky. Lucky? Don't you know that being there for people is an investment? An investment with real returns. You can list it among your businesses. What do you do for a living? Real estate and I'm there for people. Only a fool will laugh at you. A man will pay his staff 100,000, 200,000 per month. But he will give a burden bearer his heart. Take, not money. Now you know what happens when you stand in for the gospel. You understand what he was saying. Who will go for us? And Isaiah says, Lord, I'm here. I don't know what will happen on the way while I go. I may die on the way, but I'm here for you. You see why there is the Matthias crown. The Matthias is the one who finished strong, even at death. Are we blessed? The law of relationships. So when you are praying and say, Lord, send me helpers of destiny, you know what you are praying now send me divine connectors send me men of influence send me gifted people but in all your sending oh god also send me burden bearers send me burden bearers are we blessed the law 
of relationships this is the world of men if you know god that is priceless but you must know men the system by which spiritual things are translated into your results here and now after this service go back and study again get this teaching and listen to it you can find it online it's free listen to it make decisions go and meet your boss by tomorrow and say sir i just came to bless you what for he's used to psycho fans coming and he said no i'm not asking for anything i just came to say thank you um i notice you get very busy i bought a pack of water just to say thank you okay 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 go away it's not true no man has immunity against genuine love and kindness no man our pride will make us pretend as if it didn't create any effect it's not true the day of reckoning is coming he will remember you when someone wants to recommend you to be downsized the owner of the company will say remove me from the company before you remove that person who can speak for you when you are not there plant memories of your kindness in the minds of people not just those who have risen but those who are rising those who have risen you've already seen the height but those who are rising believe in people when younger ministers come to meet me sometimes they are afraid when they come this is the apostle and i just give them a big hug how are you oh we have a small fellowship 12 people and they are ashamed of saying it and then i remind them i said do you know how many we were our first crusade and they are so healed by that statement they are so comforted by it and i tell them how are you doing give me a high five and they are wondering is this the man that i watch online is this the man i watch on tv no there is nothing to us by ourselves it is the excellency of the power and the grace of god that works in us and that young man lives with confidence and courage and he says i can make it then i can make it let people not leave you and say god just kill me after what happened now just no nobody has the monopoly of increase and exploits and impact god is the lifter of us all you must believe in people enough that's leadership discern potentials invest in it not to receive something necessarily but so that you rise we've had the privilege of lifting so many people today and such a joy and an honor every time i have the opportunity to see them rising and doing well i'm happy have you learned something tonight the law of relationships be fruitful means be relational you are a ceo of a company one day surprise your staff call all of them and just say gentlemen let me steal out 10 minutes from your time how are you all doing and they are all serious because they are afraid they've been hearing rumors that they will sack everybody they are behaving well and you say no not that may god just bless you i just wanted you to know that i am grateful for having very great staff like you thank you we're moving our company forward the numbers are showing we're making progress and i'm the face that people see but i want you people to know that you are partakers not just of the shame but of the glory thank you they will stop being staff they will become family the one who was stealing in secret will repent without you knowing he will go back and say why steal because that sense of inheritance has been given to him we have to move goodness next law the law of honor just spare me a few minutes we must finish this this night the law of honor first samuel chapter 2 and verse 30 this is law number six the mysteries of the kingdom these are the irrefutable principles that walk themselves behind the scenes and are responsible for the lifting of many the rising of many the law of honor wherefore the lord god of israel said 
I said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father should walk before me forever but now the Lord said be it far from me for them that honor me I will honor and they that despise me I will likely esteem please lend me your attention the law of honor please write this down what is honor very quickly honor is the discerning honor is the celebrating and honor is the rewarding of uniqueness rewarding of usefulness rewarding of excellence honor is the discerning honor is the celebrating and honor is the rewarding of a person for your uniqueness for your value for your excellence it's a potent spiritual law the discerning the celebrating and the rewarding of uniqueness of usefulness or value and of excellence please write this down again all failures all failures with no exception can be traced to dishonor all all failures can be traced to dishonor dishonor to god dishonor to men dishonor to principles all failures honor is the key for access the assignment of honor is to ensure that closed doors are open please write it down you have to get this honor is the seed or the key for access what is this honor then this honor is the trivializing of value the trivializing of value this honor is the trivializing of value to dishonor means to take for granted to dishonor means to lightly esteem now there's no time to begin to run through scriptures to show you the examples of dishonor in the bible noah and his sons genesis 9 from 20 and 27 sarah and hagar in fact maybe let's just look at sarah and hagar as a case study then we have moses aaron and miriam we have elisha and the little children he caused them and a sheep here came and ate them and so on and so forth but um genesis 16 from verse 1 to 10 is a very interesting rendition the story of sarai and hagar now sarah abraham's wife bare him no children and she had an handmaid an egyptian whose name was hagar please follow closely and sarai said to abram behold now the lord had restrained me from bearing i pray thee go into my maid huh. it may be that i may obtain children by her and abraham hearkened to the voice of sarai and sarai abraham's wife took hagar and made the egyptian after abraham had dwelt 10 years in the land of canaan and gave her to her husband abraham to be his wife verse 4. now watch closely and he went into hagar and she conceived and when she saw that she conceived her mistress was despised in her eyes are you following the story now so hagar has a child for abraham now she begins to despise her mistress and sarai said to abraham my wrong be upon thee i have given my maid into thy bosom and when she saw that she had conceived i was despised in her eyes the lord judged between me and thee we're reading to 10 very quickly but abraham said to sarai behold thy maid is in thy hand do to her as it pleaseth thee and when sarai dealt hardly you see the consequences of dishonor dealt hardly with her she fled from her face seven and the angel of the lord found her by the fountain of water in the wilderness and by the fountain in the way of shore and he said hagar sarai's maid what did the angel call her even though she ran away heaven still recognized that she was still the maid of sarah wow that means you were anointed to serve this woman even though you are running away now on your own but in in the records in the spirit you were designed to be sarah's maid whence camest thou 
and whither wilt thou go and she said i flee from the face of my mistress sarah nine hear what the angel said the angel of the lord said unto her i want to help you but there must be a restoration of this pattern return to thy mistress and submit yourself under her hands the angel wants to help her but not in dishonor you are in a position of dishonor you cannot even secure the help of god return and correct and then the bible says the angel of the lord said to her i will multiply thy seed exceedingly and it shall not be numbered for multitude and then you would read that she returned now write the following things about honor very quickly number one if you learn honor you can access any environment on earth if you learn honor you can access any environment on earth this is true all environments political environments intellectual environment spiritual environment they are all honor dependent if you learn honor you can access any environment on earth number two honor is not a gift it is a virtue that you imbibe honor there's no such thing as the gift of honor there is the grace that produces honor but honor is not a gift write this down don't judge or reward people by their potentials alone don't judge or reward people by their potentials alone judge them by their sense of honor don't judge or reward people just by their potentials alone judge and reward them by their sense of honor never draw people closer than their last level of honor it will be dangerous to both you and them are we together write this down please honor just like relationships is currency honor is currency the currency that makes you master over your future this is true honor is currency you can use it to buy the future Who are those who are deserving of honor let me run through the list very quickly god the first and the highest person deserving of all our honor is god first samuel 2 30. number two parents parents your parents deserve your honor deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 16. parents deserve honor not well-behaved parents parents Are we together i say this with every sense of respect waiting for your father or your mother to behave well for you to honor them is treason against yourself provided you came from them they eternally deserve your honor number three your spouse husband and wife first peter chapter 3 5 to 7 your spouse husband and wife mutual honor not just honor let my wife honor me let my husband honor me mutual honor praise the lord and then next authorities now this is hard hard for africa hard for nigeria honor those who deserve our honor governmental authorities right from the counselors right to presidency they deserve our honor next men and women of god ministers of the gospel they deserve our honor first thessalonians chapter 5 from verse 12 and 13 first thessalonians 5 12 13 then first timothy 5 17. the bible says to know them which labor among you and are over you in the lord and admonish you you see that to esteem them very highly in love for their work sake that's very very important all of these people are deserving of honor 
now let's end this very quickly by providing a few keys that will help us practice honor number one wisdom you cannot truly practice honor without wisdom you need the wisdom to navigate through the tides of the the complexity of men wisdom number two you must have a deep regard a deep regard you want to honor people you must have a deep regard for the office and the person of that individual doesn't have to be a man of god anyone you truly cannot honor until you have a deep regard for the office and then the person of that individual maybe a politician maybe a business person in ministry etc number three the third key to honor learn to celebrate the person openly and sincerely openly and sincerely the third key to honor number four very quickly you must pray for him or her consistently that's how you show honor you pray for him or her consistently next contribute to improving his or her life through service and so on and so forth contribute to improving his or her life through service you cannot truly honor someone and not be a contributor to the betterment of that person's life and then finally to show honor giving whether financial resources or any kind of material blessing is one of the ways you can bless his or her life home ministry business any kind of giving at all that supports them is a show of honor let me tell you this i submit to you in the name of the lord jesus christ second only to the law of encounter this is one of the most powerful spiritual laws i have learned in my own life i cannot begin to give you the testimonies the lifting power of this mystery it has brought me to realms levels dimensions is brought me before people that by the natural sequence the natural progression of growth i should never be found among them honor is powerful it's a qualifier it can take you to realms beyond your educational qualification your spiritual qualification your intellectual qualification it can prepare a seat for you among the great this is true so we may we must re-examine our concepts of honor return back with this understanding show honor and you will have access access to the hearts of men access to their resources when you show honor number seven the last of the spiritual laws and then we pray for tonight the law of spiritual empowerment seven mysteries that god has given us in this series these are the truths that control strange results that help ordinary people to take advantage of the grace of god and rise to enviable positions in destiny where they are placed in positions where they can make kingdom come a reality and then they can improve their lives i guarantee you in the name of the lord you trade these laws you will work wonders in your life you will stand back and watch like a man playing a chess you will play life like a chess and then you will see that success is very intentional the law of spiritual empowerment every destiny and every divinely ordained assignment will require spiritual empowerment for its fulfillment if you're writing please write this down every destiny and every divinely ordained assignment will require spiritual empowerment for its fulfillment every destiny and every divinely ordained assignment will require spiritual empowerment for its fulfillment 
next point you cannot produce supernatural extraordinary results without the backing of the spirit realm how true write this down and please look up we're wrapping up you cannot produce supernatural extraordinary results without the backing of the spirit realm please look up ladies and gentlemen hear me there is only so much men can do in the strength of the flesh there is a level of results that if you ever see a man cross it tells you the realm of the spirit came to assist him politically spiritually in ministry in business for instance if you suddenly hear if the papers carry a report tomorrow that joshua selman has become the richest man in nigeria none of you will say what did i do you will say where did i go to they will say come i know you just talk to me where did you go to if this one is not this kind of result is not what did you do is where did you go to there are results that are not about what you have done is where you have gone to listen to what i'm telling you there are results in ministry that is not just what you have done is who is assisting you there has to be a spirit either an evil spirit assisting you or the holy ghost but you are not alone for sure not for that kind of result there are political results there are intellectual results there are financial results you cannot produce beyond the threshold unassisted no sir we study your results and we know immediately we can investigate what spirit but just for seeing the result we know that there has to be a spirit behind you no your songs can't go to the nation just like that your sermons cannot reach the whole globe just like that no sir the earth is too busy what made you keep their attention and compel them to pay attention to the investment of the spirit upon you there has to be a spirit backing oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah yahweh oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah please write this down we're working with time spiritual empowerment is a non-negotiable requirement if you truly desire to fulfill your destiny and serve the purposes of God spiritual empowerment is a non-negotiable requirement please listen to me I'm not just talking to men of God I'm talking to anyone at all who desires to excel non-negotiable requirement we call it the anointing not an anointing the anointing the anointing is an ordination into god's dimension of results the anointing is a legitimization to begin to produce results that are higher than your human capacity please listen we're wrapping up this series Psalm 92 and verse 10. Please help us very quickly. We have to pray now. But my horn, Joshua Selman, thou shalt exalt like the horn of a unicorn, and indeed I shall be anointed with fresh oil. With fresh oil. With fresh oil. Shali Baruski Yata Branda Katus Yata Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 It says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth Isn't it amazing that the word had to be anointed The word had to be anointed with the Holy Ghost And with power And he went about with that anointing Producing results that humans don't produce Producing results that humans don't produce he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil
for God was with him let me tell you this the realm of the spirit is alive and strong it only honors those who operate legitimately the anointing of the spirit upon you legitimizes your operation it grants you capacity to produce results that are higher than your age higher than your level of educational qualification hear me there are things men cannot do it's not within the realm of men a man cannot change another man the world will not pay attention just because of oratory it takes more than that the world will not pay attention to you there are many people doing what you are doing but there is a grace that separates it brands you and compels your generation to hear your voice let me tell you this there are great ministers of the gospel here in worship I spotted Solomon Lange here and um, you know they will tell you listen very carefully prosper is here and i'm sure a, a number of them are scattered there's a nollywood actor who came out with his wife here there are members of parliament here they will tell you in truth some of them may have had opportunities where people told them can i help you i want to take you somewhere and they say no 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 but just because you said no does not mean someone said no satan took jesus to a mountain and showed him the glory and said i have been here a long time since you threw me from heaven save yourself this stress all the kings they submit to me just bow to me and i will give you the keys it's not only jesus who has been taken to that mountain there are many who have gone there i want your songs to go around the earth just bow to me and they bow and receive that key no matter what they sing the world must hear them they know that is not what they are singing they know that there is the backing of the spirit a spirit brothers and sisters what we celebrate today that we call koinonia it will be flattery to believe that the man behind this is the one you are seeing no no there is only so much a man can do i have tasted of the power of the holy ghost i know what the anointing of the spirit can do I have seen God's power spiritual empowerment lift businessmen I have seen spiritual empowerment bless people that the anointing can make your destiny helper to not sleep and get up and think about you he does not know what on the, what on the influence behind him the grace that heals I was not born prophesying no I was not born giving a word of knowledge there are thousands following this right now all across the world all across the globe connecting from all continents there are people who there are whole churches now i say this with every sense of humility there are churches for decades in the u.s in europe all they play for their midweek service are these teachings they sit down as a congregation these are not ministries under this ministry these are independent ministries i don't know them brothers and sisters this is more than physics and maths this is more than science this is a technology of god's anointing upon the lives of men hear me there are demographically speaking there are about 3.2 million people in abuja men are too busy to focus on you there must be something on your head that isolates you we're about to pray i know that with the time is gone but please don't be in a hurry there's something you must receive when god was sending me to ministry i prayed a prayer and i said lord please do not send me with just a sermon my background may not be able to provide the kind of advantage that i need in ministry even though my grandfather was a man of god but i did not grow up having men of god around who can say okay this is our son go and preach in 10 places so that they will know you there are people who come from this background we know ourselves we are products of god's mercy oh but when that oil comes on you my goodness my god that charm like operation of the anointing from where you are 
you begin to rise just when you think you are done god says i'm not done the anointing i wish i had the liberty to share testimonies with us the things that this grace can do you came here tonight and you have learned these six laws but hear me there are some of you as you are standing right now you are the first person in your family to even get this far but hear me i love my nation nigeria i love africa but i want to be honest with you living in today's world our world today has been marred with prejudices of tribe prejudices of religion prejudices of region are we together prejudices of your continent there are too many disadvantages by default how do you think you're going to navigate your way using the natural sequence of things your lifetime will not be enough for that lifting and i said lord would you grant that this grace from heaven that can come on an individual and turn his life around I look at my life today and on one hand I am grateful but on the other hand I fear God we're about to pray we're wrapping up this series it won't be long just five minutes and we're done listen to me I respect the fact that you are a CEO but if the only thing in that company is business ideas you are in trouble not in today's world God is calling on you and saying will you allow me will you allow me come into partnership with you by sending my anointing there are families all that you have are good people in the family goodness is not enough you need the anointing of the Holy Ghost the grace of God Solomon Lange sang it so powerfully he said this grace of God is a thing of wonder it's true I have seen what God has done in my life I submit to you dear people of God the whole world is watching and I apologize if ever I sound arrogant but I have stood before kings I know what it means to be honored God has helped me I don't serve God today because of what to eat I know what the anointing of the Holy Spirit can do but listen to me at this point in my life my joy is not myself and my results again no you get to a point where God has been too faithful to you you are not looking for results for yourself again your joy is to see what God has done in your life reproduced in the life of everyone this is why the Lord granted grace to take this series please listen to me dear CEO oil and gas construction do you not know that there are many files upon that table what makes you believe yours will be preferred because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows are you ready to pray you are going to immerse everything that is a concern in your life under the influence of the anointing it's truly time for us to rise in one minute i leave you with the maker of your destiny cry before god the god of all flesh lift your voice and pray please pray we have just five minutes pray lord you have brought me here tonight to lift me pray for your ministry pray for your job the power of the holy ghost the supernatural advantage upon your life someone is praying someone is praying the overflow someone is praying online yeah. 
Hallelujah. Now listen to me. One song by this man of God, Ekweme. The anointing of the Spirit came upon that song. And God took him and his song has been a blessing all around the globe. Help them please. Minister Solomon Lange is here. That song sang his songs on the grace of God and released it. You thought you were just listening to music, but there was a grace that took that song. I remember I was one time it was Nathaniel Bassi who was telling me of a few years, not very far, nobody knew him. I saw one of my photos you know all these photos when you are starting ministry that when you see is... I saw what I was wearing I looked at myself I was almost going to say where am I hear me let no man despise you there is an anointing that can come are you ready to pray Power from on high rest upon my life rest upon my life rest upon my ministry in the name of Jesus rest upon my career someone is praying Empowerment, the capacity to produce God's dimension of results in ministry, in business, in politics. Oh dear politicians, it will take more than votes and money for you to sit on that throne. Oh dear career person, it will take more than the passage of time for you to excel. Please pray. Hallelujah. Please look up. There are different kinds and different anointings. There is a grace for favor. There is a grace for speed. There is a grace for wealth and abundance. There really is a grace for that. There is a grace for leadership. People don't just listen to you because you are right. They listen to you because the grace to compel them to hear you is there. It's called the hear ye him anointing. There is a grace for influence. There is a grace for miracles, signs and wonders. You don't just pray for the sick. You don't just prophesy, except if you are lying. There is a grace for influence, secular influence. That in an environment like the judiciary, like, like, like parastatals, God can lift you. Daniel had such a grace and through the reign of three kings, he was still seated. One more time pray. Father, in my family, in my ministry, I obtain grace. Fresh grace for the new season. Tired of natural living. Tired of ministry naturally. Tired of business naturally. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
now listen very carefully next week sunday is a miracle service for me and i like you to come with your heart desperate one of the things that we're going to be receiving in that miracle service as god grants grace i will be calling specific people with proven track records in certain fields to release upon us the grace that took them there where god brought them whether it is ministry whether it is career anointings are transferable what is on you is what controls what is around you but for tonight let me speak over your life father in the name of jesus the christ of god i decree and declare every gate that has refused to answer to your destiny use these mysteries as keys and i declare that you will swing open those gates in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare everyone here who has experienced a slow place very slow pace of your progression in life it's like you are moving but you are not moving i declare acceleration for you by the spirit i will keep praying this prayer as long as i live until i see it manifest in the lives of people the grace for visibility and influence the grace that can make the nation and a city to see what you represent and to place a demand upon you may that grace come upon your life now may that grace come upon your life now the anointing that drives men to the secret place to the place of prayer the place of fasting the place of an encounter with the world may that grace rest upon you now the mantle of honor that makes you preferred in the name that is above all names i call upon the god of my covenant may it rest upon you listen for some of you before sunday miracle service you will come and stand here testifying of the wonder working power of jesus christ everyone ordained to hold your hands in this season and to lift you wherever they are in this city abuja and the six geopolitical zones of this nation i stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic i call them to your life now i call them to your life now i call them to your life now and finally i pray for you in the name of jesus as you go back to listen to this series part one part two part three everything needed that you have missed in the name of jesus christ may the holy ghost bring it to your remembrance i declare upon you go and excel you become a sign and a wonder go and return with tears some results in the name of jesus and whilst you are going may the angels assigned to defend the revelations you know may they walk with you i cast every spirit and every power that will want to fight you no power in existence will fight your rising you are an ambassador of the kingdom representing the purposes of god not just spiritually politically in influence business the media go and ray go and excel use this mystery as keys open ancient doors for yourself and for your loved ones in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus father we give you praise we decree and declare that jesus and him alone be glorified please listen to me do well whilst you are preparing for the miracle service 
invite others come with your prayer request but more importantly i'd like you to come with a hunger to receive are we blessed have you been blessed tonight let's share the grace together in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit let it rest and abide with us now and forever god bless you and see you on sunday